Right, all right, everyone. I think I believe we are live right now. If uh, if you want to go ahead and uh, uh, just post some comments in the comment stream down below, let us know that we're live. Let let us know that you can hear us, and we'll get things rocking here. And I'm refreshing. I okay. It looks like we're it looks like we're live over on uh, over on the page, Amy. So um, Sweet. awesome. Hey, everyone. Congratulations. There we go. Welcome into 2013. I got to tell you, I have quite honestly never been more excited for a year in my entire life. I, I woke up this morning. I was full of energy. I was just like pumped and ready to go. And I, I it's been an absolutely amazing day. In fact, I woke up to a nice little present from Amy that you, I think she's <laughs> to the right there. It might be that way. I don't know how this how this is looking here, but I, I woke up this morning to a nice little $500 pass-up commission from Amy, which is, which is awesome. And I, and I love getting those, uh, especially from you, Amy. Thank you so much for that <laughs> wonderful morning present here. You're welcome. Awesome, awesome. So, so everyone, we've got a lot of really good stuff uh, to share here this evening we've got we've got a lot of training on how to start 2013 off right and how in the next well beginning today taking action right now can change everything for you and and, and uh, you know I, I know Amy you've got a, a, a some slides and some stuff going on we're gonna get over to that in a moment and uh, uh, you know, do you, you want to just welcome everyone down and say anything before? I've got a really good story in a moment that I want to share with everyone, but it's probably going to take about 10 minutes, and it's some really good training inside the story. So Sure. Yeah, I just want to say Happy New Year, and um, as you've probably seen in my emails I've been sending out, this is one of my favorite days of the year. I love starting the new year fresh and getting to just erase the past and start fresh from right now. That being said, 2012 was the most successful year I've ever had in my internet marketing yeah. career. And so I'm excited to share tonight some of the things that I learned that allowed me to have the most successful year. I'm going to teach you, you know, we're, we are going to teach you some things about how to set yourself up for a really powerful year. Not to set New Year's resolutions because those, as most of us know, don't work. They don't stick. You know, they just, as, um, Michael posted in our Facebook group today, New Year's resolution should be our to-do list for the first year of January because that's basically what it is. It's, it doesn't, for most people, it doesn't really get much further than that. But we're going to show you how to set up your business so that you can be a professional internet marketer, make a full-time income in 2013 by setting your year up right starting today on New Year's day. So I'm excited. I'm really excited about this and for all of you to um, just kind of wipe your slate clean, forget about what hasn't worked in the past, and um, and let's start fresh. Awesome, awesome. You know, one of the one of the things, uh, Amy, I, I like I like what you said right there. This is you know to to to, to say our news resolutions are something that we want our goals for the the, the, the first week of 2013 because really, uh, you know, a lot of you probably started some of your resolutions like days ago you know you probably didn't start them just today like if you know if, if you wanted to start eating healthier or working harder in your business you didn't say two weeks ago I'm gonna wait till New Year's Day and then I'm gonna start working on my business I'm gonna wait till then now it's okay if you have it's entirely okay if you have you can decide to just take action right now like literally this moment you're actually on the call with us so you are taking action but get out there and actually start taking you know you know a uh, result producing actions and uh, and do so on a daily basis and, and some of the stuff we're gonna share with you here tonight uh, is really going to help you doing that. And in fact, what I'm about to share with you right now is something that excites me because uh, I don't know if I don't know if I've ever told you this, Amy, but like three years ago, uh, uh, you, you might have even heard this story somewhere else. Three years ago, uh, in in the end of 2009, I was about nine months, ten months into my business, eleven months into my business. I started in January of 2009. Uh, January 16th is when I actually officially started my business, and in the first five months, I lost. I don't. I can't even say lost. I, I spent fifteen thousand dollars. I invested fifteen thousand dollars into different things: marketing strategies, training, education, different stuff. And at that point in time, I hadn't made a single penny. Uh, and, and one of the key reasons was because I, I was trying to build my own system from scratch, knowing absolutely nothing. Well, we don't have to do that here at Empower Network, which is so exciting. I mean, the system is literally the machine. The well-oiled machine is set up. All yeah. we got to do, and as you're going to learn, is get traffic to the front of that machine, and it's just, it's a beautiful thing. So that's that's very exciting. But so so so, so 11 months into my business in 2009, I find myself uh, uh, after a series of, of of ups and downs in my business, having a little bit of success and then not success, and then some success and then a lot of success and then no success. I found myself losing about $900 a month in my business, 
all of my credit cards were completely maxed out, $15,000. I, I couldn't get any more credit. My credit score was shot. And my parents would, would literally, at this point in time, they'd only borrow me like a few, maybe $200 at a time, a few, because they had borrowed me so much money again and again. And I had always paid them back, but they, they, they would only borrow me so much money. And I was finally, I actually, at this point in time, I went to my parents uh, with, a, with a plan, if you will, uh, for them to borrow me $35,000 in like so this whole business plan that I laid out, which was terrible. It was a terrible business plan and they didn't accept it. They didn't help me out. They didn't borrow me the money, you know, which I'm, I'm very happy about. I had to figure things out on my own. You know, I had to figure things out on my own. And so, so I found myself at that point in time where I was losing money in my business. I was only making about as much money in my job as I was losing in my business on a monthly basis. And it was at the point where I said, okay, I've got two options here. I can start shutting down my business. I can start shutting down areas of my business and slowly watch it just fade away and, and go to nothing. Or I can really figure out what I'm not doing correctly. I can really figure out what I'm not doing on a regular basis. And I can really figure out why I'm not consistent in my actions, why I'm not consistent in daily action and daily production and, and, and get down to the root of what the, the, the real problem is and, and, then, and then go forward and do that stuff on a daily basis. And so, um, you know, the, 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 the catalyst for me was going into work one day after, after putting in quite a few uh, uh, months of work without the head chef, they're actually picking up and working extra hours and the owner of the place saying, yeah, you're working, you know, you're working harder you're not getting any overtime and I'm not going to give you a raise or a bonus, but you're working harder than you were before because the guy that runs the kitchen is gone and that's now your job, but I'm not going to pay you anymore. Well, the head chef came back and they actually cut my hours down to 16 to 18 hours a week like, like that. So I watched my income go from $900 a month down to like 450 a month like, like that. And I was like, oh, I was like, screw this. I'm done with this bullshit. I'm, I'm done relying on other people. I'm done relying on someone telling me when I'm going to work and how much money I'm going to make. And that was it. I mean, that was like the line in the sand for me. So, you know, I did, I did something a little bit crazy and I'm going to share with you, uh, not right at this moment here, but, but throughout this call here, I'm going to share with you the literally the step by step thing that I did, the, the, the thing that I did to literally go into the future, to like travel into the future and, and grab the future and have it pull me forward to success. And what happened, what happened was within 10 months of that day of doing what I'm going to share with you on this call in a little bit, within 10 months of that day, I was actually able to walk into my boss who I really didn't like as a boss. He was a cool guy outside of that, but I really didn't like him as a boss because as you could tell, he really didn't care about me or my success or my income. I walked into him. I said, Hey, guess what? You're fired. <laughs> and it was the, one of the best days of my life because it was, it was very liberating. And, 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 and so my point is, my point is that, that right here today, right now, tonight with what we're going to share with you, aside from all the step-by-step -step stuff that Amy's got laid out for you, aside from all that other stuff, what I'm going to teach you in a little bit can literally transform your life in, in 10 months or less, or maybe slightly more depending on where you're at in your business and your life and all that. But I went from losing $900 a month in my business to having my very first $5,000 in three weeks within 10 months doing exactly what I'm going to share with you here in a little bit. So it, quite honestly, 2010 was my breakout year. And I want, if you're not there yet, if you haven't had it yet, I want 2013 to be your breakout year. And that's why starting right here tonight, today, right now is the line you draw on the sand and we are going to cover some cool stuff here tonight. So, uh, you know, I'm just pumped. I'm excited. I'm glad you're down here with us. And with that being said, uh, I'm going to pass it back to Amy. But, you know, before I do, I just want to go ahead and invite you at any point. Uh, you know, I know there's a lot of you on here. Uh, who are here for the training, you're here for the, the marketing training, the, the, the daily action plan training, the mindset training, all the stuff we're going to share with you on, on how to have five figure months or more in your business and how to really break through and do all that stuff. We're going to be sharing that with you at any time you choose. You can click that button down below. In fact, there was someone uh, about an hour ago that was on last week's training that, that, that just joined right now. I don't know who they joined with. I don't know who invited them here, but they actually clicked that button down below and just got in because they said, wow, you guys look awesome. This team looks amazing. I just want to get in. How do I get in? So we'll click that button right there, right down below, and just just get in. And so they did. It's really cool stuff. And you can do that too uh, any anytime you, anytime you choose throughout this training. So um, with that being said, Amy, I'm going to pass it back to you. Okay. Real quick before I get into the nuts and bolts, I just want to mention um, stick around because we're going to be announcing something really exciting that we're doing this entire week that's going to benefit every single person on here. So um, we'll be talking about that in a little while. So I just wanted to mention that. Awesome. I'm, I'm pumped. Um, I'm pumped. I All know. Right. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to try to share my screen here. 
and um, see if I can figure out how to do that. Tell me when you guys can see me, my screen. Um, desktop. Can you guys see my desktop yet? Not yet. All right, let's see. Um, so cool. I can see there's actually 54 people oh, live on this page right now. Ah, there you go. I saw your desktop. Okay. So let me. I'm going to go ahead and mute up while you're doing this so that it doesn't All switch right. over to me. All right. So, Jordan, can you check the comments and make sure everybody can see my screen? Because now I'm on full screen here. Um, and I know you're muted, but just unmute and let me know that. I'm, people... I'm definitely seeing your screen. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely can seeing you guys it. I'm not seeing any comments, though. Co go ahead and comment and tell me if you can see my screen right now. Perfect. Yep. yep. Okay. Yep, you're all good. I'm going to move up. Awesome. So this, this um, what it says right here, are you ready to play big in life this year? David Sharp, he said this on the call last night. I don't know how many of you were on the New Year's Eve call last night, but it was awesome. And, um, and this is kind of what he was talking about. They were talking about the vision of Empower Network. And, um, and basically, we've just finished our first year with Empower Network, just celebrated their first, the end of their first year in October. And we're getting, we're moving into our, you know, our second year now and the what we've accomplished in the first year has been you know unprecedented in the industry and so now that they've got all the obstacles worked out and the foundation laid they their vision is huge and they're ready to really take it to the next level and to help create some millionaires this year and um, and so he had mentioned this question and I love that because this is where you know this is the question that I am starting my year off asking myself. The answer for me is yes. And like I said, I just had my most successful year in 2012, but I'm ready to take it to a whole other level as well. So this is a question I just invite you to ask yourself to get started. And um, if you were invited you know, by me through my emails, I had some bullet points in there about some of the things that we were going to cover. I just have a couple things that I made some quick slides for. I literally threw these together just a, a few minutes before the the think the um, hangout started tonight because I wanted to have something for those of you that like to take notes or whatever this is it's very simple but I just wanted to kind of lay out an outline for you so one of the things I talked about was how to set yourself up to be a professional internet marketer this year And what I mean by professional internet marketer is somebody that can make a full-time income on the internet so if you have a job that you hate a boss that you hate like Jordan was talking about that you'd like to fire um, you know, becoming a professional internet marketer, creating a full-time income on the internet like I do, like Jordan does, like so many of us are able to do, is a way that you can get out of that job. So I'm going to show you how to set yourself up to do that starting right now, this year. So the first step is to get all in. If you're using the Empower Network as a platform to be a professional internet marketer, which I highly recommend because it is an inexpensive way to get all of the training that you could possibly need to be an internet marketer and um, it's all it also pays hundred percent commission so it's the best platform I can think of if you want to make a full-time income online is to use the empower network so what I recommend is that you get all in and there's a couple reasons for that number one it's the only way to make a full-time income um, with this platform we get paid hundred percent commissions on each product and if you're marketing and you're doing what you're taught within the products and you don't own all of the products you're going to be leaving money on the table when people buy the products that you don't own so in order to make a full-time income much more easily it's going to be in your you know to your benefit to own everything so that you can not only make twenty five dollar commissions but you can make hundred dollar commissions which are also residual monthly commissions and then also one-time commissions of five hundred a thousand and three thousand dollars this is gonna help you make way more money so that's the first thing and then the second thing is all of the training that you need to be able to market anything online is contained in these products and your chances of succeeding without educating yourself are slim to none it's just like any other career if you want to be a doctor you have to go to medical school if you want to be a lawyer you need to go to law school it's the same thing here if you want to be a professional internet marketer you need to learn the skill set that's needed to be a professional internet marketer and I can't think of a better place to get the training 
than right here with the Empower Network products. I've been on the internet for seven years, more than seven years, going on eight years now. And I, before the Empower Network, I spent tens of thousands of dollars on courses, on coaching, on traveling around to events to try to learn how to do things. And what's so great about this product, about the products that we have, is that they're, first of all, they're cutting edge and up to date. They're always changing them to make sure that they're current. You know, a lot of the stuff that I spent thousands of dollars on a couple years ago to learn is out, it doesn't work anymore. It's outdated. So the, the Empower Network products, once you buy a product, you will always get the updates and everything is continuously being updated. You know, the other thing is it's all right. You can log into your back office and have instant access to all of it. You don't have to travel around and take pages of notes to learn the stuff. It's all right there. And it's in video format so that you can pause these videos and be able to just um, implement as you go. And so it just, it really gives you an edge on all of your competition online because everything that you need, this is the most, and Jordan, you know, if you want to chime in or if you have anything to say about this, but I, I'm sure Jordan can attest because he's done other things before the Empower Network as well. Um, it doesn't even compare to any of the other training I've seen on the internet. It's more comprehensive. It's taught by, you know, we've got some of the top leaders in the internet marketing industry in the Empower Network that are teaching this stuff. So you've got the best of the best all in one place. Jordan, you're going to chime in there. Yeah, ab absolutely. I was, I was waiting until you got done there. Uh, you know, I, I, interesting interesting thing, Amy. I was, I was, last night I was walking home from my buddy's house, and uh, I stopped at this little Euro stand right on the, right on the corner uh, in downtown Fort Collins. And I don't know if you've ever been to Fort Collins, but uh, out here, downtown Fort Collins, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of bars, there's a lot of restaurants, there's a lot of, uh, like, concert venues, if you will. And so there's a lot of people eating food. Like like hungry out on the street because they got out of a bar or they whatever and so there's food vendors out there there's hot dog stands there's pizza things there's euros I mean there's literally tons of different types of of, of food stands out there and I was chatting with this guy last night as he was making me a euro and he was standing outside it was literally it was cold as heck his his glove was like frozen solid as he was trying to put it on it was like stiff he had to like you know like warm it up over the flat top before he could even put his glove on. And uh, uh, so, so I was chatting with him, and I said, "Hey, man, just totally curious. Like, how much did it cost you to get one of these little businesses started? And 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 how much does it cost you to keep this thing running? Because I know there's like licensing fees and you know all sorts of different stuff. And and it was around twenty thousand dollars to get the food cart and you know the grill and all the stuff there. And it's about five thousand dollars every three months uh, uh, just to pay licensing fees, so that he can literally stand on the corner at night." And, and be freezing cold at points because they, they serve in the winter and be freezing cold and sell euros. Now, yeah, they made, he told me they make pretty good money. They make, you know, they're, they're probably pulling in, uh, you know, five figures or more a month together with their business uh, in profit. But they, they, they literally have to pay thousands of, they, they pay $20,000 up front and pay $5,000 every couple months. And with, with Empower Network, when you click that button, almost $25 to get started. And, and even going all in and getting all of the training and all of the courses and all of that stuff, you're literally only paying around $5,000 to get marketing training courses I, I I watched a girl that I that I used to work with uh, she was she, she went to college for for online marketing right and at this point in time she had paid around ten thousand uh, uh, dollars to go to college for online marketing and this was like back when I was just starting my business you know this was years ago back when I was you know about a year into my business and what it realized was 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 that she knew absolutely nothing about online marketing after being being educated for a few years because it wasn't the most up-to-date stuff it wasn't the cutting edge the most cutting edge stuff is what's working right now and what's working right now is what made 24 million dollars in their first 24 months in empower network that's what's working right well, now so 12, 12 months. Okay, sorry. So, so, so to, to be able to tap into that kind of training, I mean, think about going to college or doing some or starting a Euro stand or a hot dog stand or whatever it is. I mean, you've got nothing better than, 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 than to start a business with Empower Network, something that's done so much money in the first 14 months, in the first 13 months, in the first 12 months, in the first month even. It was, it was, it was insane what they did. And the, the bottom line is, the bottom line is that getting started and getting all in barely even scratches the surface on what you'd spend going to college to get a degree in online marketing from people that have no clue what they're doing. So, oh my God, Amy, I could go on for hours, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you get back into it. Yeah, and you know, the other thing is, you know, you could spend your money on a college education and come out and not make nearly as much as you can make here. I mean, this training gives you 
it teaches you a skill set that is highly in demand right now and it's something that is I mean it's just so awesome because you can use it to market anything you can use it to work from home and you can use it to make as much money as you want unlike a lot of college degrees where you have to go to work for somebody else and they get to tell you you know when you work and when you get time off and how much money you can make and all you know when you get raises and stuff you know here it's all up to us and we can make an unbelievable amount of money here especially with the hundred percent commissions that they pay so uh, hey, yeah. Amy, Amy, before before you go on, I want to. I see that the number is rising on the people jumping on here. And what I want to do, mm -hmm. I just I just shot a comment out on the page. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone who is already, you're already a member of of Empower Network. You're already a member. You have a username that you created when uh, you know, like if you're not a member and you click that button down below when you fill out that form, there's going to be a little box that says username. You're going to create your username, and and I posted in there that you can actually invite people to this hangout with the link I posted in the in the chat. And what that's going to do is going to get people to your hangout. Out, and when they click the button down below and join right now, they're going to be joining your team. So let's see if we can't get this 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 hangout. Uh, you know, let's see if we can't get another 25 or 40 people on here. If we get another 40 people on here, we'll, we'll be over 100 on New Year's Day, which I think is absolutely mm -hmm. rocking uh, for what we got going on here. But you can actually invite people with your put your username in, in in replacement of the word username at the end of that link, and all of the credit will go to you. So and that, you can post those links on Facebook. They're not empower yep. empowernetwork.com links. So you can go ahead and just invite your Facebook friends and groups and stuff too. Yep. All right. Um, should I keep going, Jordan? Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. keep going. All right. All right. So that's the first thing that you need to do to set yourself up to be a professional internet marketer. Again, if you want to make a full-time income, you've got to be able to make full-time commissions. If you're going to try to make a full-time income $25 at a time, it's going to be a lot more difficult. Not to mention you're not going to have the training. So that's pretty much that in a nutshell. The second thing is not to mention not to mention you won't get to wake up on New Year's morning to a five hundred dollar commission <laughs> rolling into your rolling into your inbox, you know, from from a team member like Amy on your team. Yeah, absolutely. Um the second thing is to get your ticket to Austin, and I know you keep hearing about this, but this event is coming up in, what, 18, 17 days, and, um, you know, I've been to the, both of the events that have happened so far. These events will literally change your business. They'll change your life. If you're serious about doing this as a business that produces full-time income, now, if you just want to make a couple hundred bucks a month, that's one thing. If you want to be a professional internet marketer and you want to use the Empower Network as your platform and you want to make a full-time income, you'll be in Austin. No excuses. I love what David Wood said last night on the call. He said, I'm not going to guarantee that every single person in Austin is going to make a million dollars in 2013, but I am going to guarantee that the only people that do are going to be the people that are in Austin. So, you know, again, like it's, that's where the, you know, the, in-depth training happens at these live events not to mention it's an amazing way to build your belief about this company that you represent you'll get to meet Dave and Dave in person you'll get to see them live you'll get to meet some other people that are behind the scenes that you know work for the company you'll get to meet your community I mean that's a huge piece too and you know there's a ton of other benefits that go along with being at events you know you'll make new friends you can take tons of video footage that you can use for content later you know there's the, the list goes on and on but I can't stress it enough if you're serious about this you'll figure out a way to get to Austin and there's really no excuses. People, I mean, I've seen people do it with probably a lot less than you have right now. Like people that have like literally nothing. There was a woman at the last event that didn't even have enough money for her plane ticket home, so she bought a one-way ticket. And then her community, once she got there and shared about that, people chipped in and paid for her plane ticket home. It's just an amazing community. So if, where there's a will, there's a way. If you can't afford a hotel room, you know, there's people, other people that need to, room up with people too to save money we can help you do that um, anyway get your ticket to Austin um, Jordan is there anything that you want to say about this piece <laughs> oh absolutely <laughs> absolutely Amy I, you know I know I know I know you could probably share a ton about the events you've been to and like really how transforming they were for you but one one thing really comes to mind to me you know one of one of my business partners uh, Adam Chandler you might know him uh, I really remember when we were both involved in a company years ago and he had the good fortune of having a sponsor who said here's the bottom line you got involved in this business a few months back and there's a live event coming up 
there's a live event coming up in, in about two months. And what I want to tell you is that if you are not at that live event, it is highly unlikely that you will be in business within the next 12 to 18 months. It is highly unlikely that you will still be in business within the next 12 to 18 months if you don't do whatever it takes to get to that live event in two months. Now, I know you don't have two months. You've got 18 days or 17 days or whatever. But the bottom line is do whatever it takes to get there. Now, me, uh, uh, my sponsor, he didn't say it in those exact words to me. You know, he didn't give me the ultimatum of either get to this live event or, and, and I'm not going to say that if you don't get to this event, you won't be in business. But what I'm going to say is it's highly unlikely that you'll be making money uh, if you don't get to a live event. So, so do whatever it takes because I, I, I remember my first live event and, and, and I had been hearing about get to live events for, you know, to, I was three months into my business and, and I went to my sponsor and I said, hey man, uh, uh, I've got about $2,000 left. I've got about $2,000 left and I hear you told me that I should get to this live event but I really want to get that top level product so I can make the top level commissions because I have a feeling I'm actually going to start sponsoring people right now. Uh, I, I felt really good about me starting to sponsor people right now and he said, bottom line, Jordan, get to that live event. That's more important than you buying the $2,000 product where you can make 50% commissions and get a $1,000 commission on. That's more important that you get to the live event because then you'll start making the $150 commissions and the, and the $40 a month residuals. You'll start actually making those, which you haven't done yet. And uh, I didn't believe him. I didn't believe him, which, you know, some of you out there, you might say, I don't believe you and Amy right now. I don't believe that me getting to a live event is going to change things. In fact, I'm going to wait till I'm making enough money in my business before I get to a live event. Guess what? I was the same way. And so what happened was I bought the $2,000 product and guess what? I didn't make a sale. In fact, I only made one sale of that $2,000 product ever, ever. You know, and, 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 and the crazy thing was, the crazy thing was that I found myself uh, later on in business, I found myself after denying going to live events, after all my mentors had said, you got to get to live events. There's something magical about getting to live events. Like literally the magic happens. Something happens inside of you that you didn't know existed. All of a sudden you look up on stage and you see someone like David Wood live in person. You're like, man, if that guy can make money. I'm going to make a ton of money. Or you see someone like like Chris Darty, and you're going to say, if that person can make money, I'm going to make a ton of money. Or you see me and you say, man, if that if that guy can make a ton of money, I'm going to make money. And you see someone like Amy and you say, well, Amy doesn't, you know, Amy's perfect. So no, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you see people and you're like, oh my God, I've been putting them up on these pedestal like they're gods or something. And the bottom line is we're all just people. And, 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 and we've just figured some things out. And I got to tell you, getting to live events is where the magic happens. Now, I went to my very first live event about 18, 19 months into my business. And I had been averaging around, uh, for a few months now, I had been averaging somewhere between about 1000 and $1,400 a month in my business. But I was like capped off at like $1,400 a month. I just couldn't make any more than $1,400 a month. And I went to this live event that I literally could not afford, you know, because I know $1,400 a month isn't a ton of money. And, uh, you know, with, with, with everything, with trying to get out of debt and all that stuff, it, it, I wasn't, I wasn't like racking up th thousands of dollars in my bank account. Let's just say that I was reinvesting everything I could into business as quickly as I was coming in, I was putting it into business in some way, shape or form. And so I remember going to my dad literally in tears and saying, dad, you know, this event is in, 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 in three days. I ended up, I, I, I bought a plane ticket. I bought a plane ticket. I bought the ticket. I bought the ticket uh, and literally had $3 left in my bank account after I bought the ticket to this live event. So I could barely afford it, but I decided to do it anyway. I somehow came up with enough money to, to, to buy a plane ticket weeks before the event. And just days before the event, I went to my dad literally in tears and said, Dad, I'm, I'm going to this event. But uh, you know the checks that were supposed to be here, they didn't get here, and, and I don't have the money. And I, and I was like sobbing on his shoulder. I said, "Can I please borrow five or six hundred dollars? Can I please borrow some money so that I can so that I can get a hotel room in Las Vegas and and some food while I'm there?" And I remember going to this event and and given uh, uh, my, my friend Yale the money for the, the hotel room right up front and I only had enough money left. I, I, didn't, I didn't have any, enough money for, for anything. I wasn't like gambling or drinking or doing anything crazy. I was literally eating food and I was buying because we were in Vegas. I was buying like one sandwich a day at lunchtime and, and eating just a little bit of it and then leaving it sit on the counter in the, in the hotel room because I was afraid of the weighted refrigerators going to charge me for the water that I touched because that's the way Vegas is. They got these little weight things. So I was like, 
afraid that if I touched the water or put my food in the fridge that I would get charged for moving a, a soda or something like that. And I don't even know how much they charge for a soda in Vegas. Uh, and, I, and I remember actually that night going into David Wood's uh, a hotel room to hang out with him and meet him for the first time. And I watched him literally grab one of the boxes of peanuts off of the stand, and I said, and he grabbed it without even looking at the price tag, and just started eating the peanuts. I said, "What is he doing? Like, doesn't he know those things are like twenty bucks a piece?" I thought it was absolutely crazy. But so that was my first live event, and it was within two months of that event that I was able to quit my job, and it was within two months of that event that I made it had my first five thousand dollar a month, and it was within one day, one day of that event that I made fourteen hundred dollars in a forty five minute webinar. Now, I'm not guaranteeing again that that's going to happen for you when you when you decide to get to that live event, but here's what I'll tell you. You got a whole lot better chance of making things magical happen in your business when you surround yourself with magical people like Amy Star Allen, with magical people like all the top earners in Empower Network. Meet Dave and Dave in person. Meet the leaders, Aaron and 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 Sophia and Tony Rush and Chris Darty and uh, 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 Chris Record. And I mean, the list just goes on and on with all these people that we get to hang out with. And 3,700 other awesome marketers going crazy at this live event is going to be absolutely life changing. So, again, you, you just you got to do it. You got to get to live events. That's what it did for me. It took my business and flipped it all the way around, and it was absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, and here's the thing too, like if you don't go to events, do you really think people are going to take you seriously and they're going to want to join you? There's people out there right now looking for a sponsor in the Empower Network. There's people, I mean, I'm getting contacted by people every single day that tell me that they're, you know, they're searching around right now to decide who they're going to join with. And if they, you know, if you have video footage of you at the event and, you know, you're there, you're where the action is, they're going to be like, oh, this person's serious. This person is like a real member of this community as opposed to someone who's dipping their toe in the water and they're not going to get to the live event and, you know, you're not going to, you know, be there, you know, on not, not just even just the videos, but again, if you want to be a professional internet marketer, which is what I'm trying to teach you how to set yourself up to do here, even before the Empower Network, I decided I wanted to be a professional internet marketer. So I was going to all kinds of other events. I mean, I flew to Phoenix to hang out with Mark Overson. And, you know, again, like I, I didn't have the money at the time, but it was an opportunity to go to this marketing mastery event with Mark Overson. And I thought, well, you know, this guy knows more than anybody. I'm going to go spend a weekend with him and see what I can learn. And I learned a ton that weekend. I mean, not to mention, I got to hang out with people like Tracy Walker and Nicole Cooper and people that I'm now like good friends with because it was like, it was a small event, which typically tend to be even more expensive, but I knew that it would be worth it for me to be there and it was. And so, you know, I just did what I had to do to get to Phoenix and um, I've done what I've had to do to get to other big industry-wide events every single year even when I didn't have the money, like I've just made it a priority. And it's um, just like Chris Record said on the call a couple weeks ago, you know, like leaders don't sit there and pine over whether or not they're going to go to the event. Like now we're 17 days away and some people, maybe even yourself, are still wondering whether or not they're going to go. He said leaders, they, they know ahead of time, like this is how I operate. I know that I'm going to go to every event. And so as soon as they announce it, I just buy my ticket. As a matter of fact, I contacted David Wood a couple days ago because I'm a single mother. And in order for me to be able to get out of town, I need to find help with my kids. And the best person to watch my kids is their dad. And he travels a lot. So I contacted David Wood a couple days ago and I said, can you give me the dates for the next two events? Because my ex-husband is getting ready to do a bunch of films. He's going to be gone a lot. And if I could give him the dates right now, the chances of me getting that piece covered are better. Like, there's no question in my mind I'm going to go. But, you know, I'm like already thinking about the summer. And I think there's going to be another event in April. But, you know, I'm already thinking about that. And so instead of like spending all this time and energy trying to figure out whether or not you're going to go, if you're a leader and you're serious about doing this, you just make a decision. You get in and you make a decision that you're going to be at every event. And then you just go to every event. And as soon as the tickets come out, you buy your ticket because you're going to save money by buying it in the beginning because they constantly raise the price. You buy your plane ticket as soon as, as soon as you know when the next event is and you save a lot of money there too. And then you just put it on your calendar and you're done. You don't have to worry about it anymore. You just know. You know, like I've known since September that I was going to Austin in January because I bought my ticket at the event. So, 
you know, I recommend that, you know, if you make a commitment, which I'm going to talk about in this next slide, I guess it's a good, good, it's a good time. Jordan, were you wanting to chime in about anything? I hear you. Um, no, I do want to say uh, someone just got an automatic sign up, so I don't know if that's from this, this event here, but uh, hey, Pat McKenna, awesome. Very cool stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Nice. Okay, uh, so, so again, like, Part of being at the events is making a commitment to your business, and so that's what I want to talk about here. So in order to make a full-time income doing this, being a professional internet marketer, you need to commit to this being your business. And in order to do that, you need to do number one and number two. You need to get all in. You need to get to the event. And we're going to talk about this next thing. Um, I'm going to go through how to create a daily, ma a mass a daily plan of action. but. Um, anyway, attending events is part of committing to something. Like, you know, David Wood said something about it on the call last night, too. You know, like, if, you know, people that don't attend events, he doesn't take them seriously. He knows that they're not serious. Like, if you're serious about this and you're committed to it, you, you go to events. If you're committed to this, you own all the products, you get all of the training that you need to, su to succeed, and you just do what they tell you to do. Um, so this is just about committing to your business, you know, doing those two things that I just talked about. And then the other thing is to take daily massive action. And I'm not talking about taking action once a week or posting a blog post and sitting back and waiting for the leads to come in. I even had somebody on my team tell me that he's like, when, when am I going to start getting signups? And I said, well, what have you done? He said, I posted my capture page link on my blog a week ago. He didn't even write a blog post. He just put a link on his blog and he's been like sitting back waiting for something to happen. So that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about daily action. And I'm going to show you, and Jordan and I are going to kind of go through, a, um, and I have some slides to help you too if you like to take notes, but I, we're going to show you exactly how to create a daily plan of action so that you can have um, this, so that you know what to do every day because I think that's part of the issue for some people when they're starting a business, especially um, a new career, like they've never done anything on the internet before and they want to become a professional internet marketer. They want to make a full-time income from home and they wake up every morning feeling overwhelmed and they don't know where to start. So we're going to show you what to do and it's actually very simple. Um, before I get into that, Jordan, was there anything you wanted to add? Yeah, you know, you know, Amy. Uh, I, back back when I worked in 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 the restaurant industry, and even before that, when I worked uh, at, I used to work at this place called Cousin Subs. I don't know how many from the Midwest, but Cousin Subs is a huge. It's like a, it's like the Subway of the Midwest. It's way better than Subway because they have way better bread, uh, and that's their logo is better bread, better subs. But anyways, I used to work there. And one of the really neat things that we did every single night is we had this little sheet of paper uh, that was in one of those, you know, the plastic wrap uh, type of thing. It was, it was, it was wrapped in, in, in one of those like sheet protectors and it had a list of nightly cleanup things like empty this garbage and wipe this screen off and clean this soup holder and all these different things that we had to do on a nightly basis and so as it came to about six o'clock at night we would start doing certain closing tasks early we would get things done that we could get done earlier in the evening when we had a little bit of downtime so that we would kind of speed things up when closing came and as the night went on we just literally get to cross out a whole nother uh, another another thing and as the night went on I'd start to see wow this list is getting checked off I feel like I'm accomplishing something and I know exactly what I had to do every single day even a year and a half into working there when I knew that list like the front and back of my hand I still checked that list off because it felt good to accomplish that thing and watch myself write something off and accomplish it. You know, same thing nowadays is I have a daily to-do list and it's something, it's, you know, I've got a daily routine and I've got a daily to-do list, something entirely, you know, different every day. But for me to be able to highlight an entire line of saying, hey, write this blog post about XYZ, share it on Facebook, post it in these groups, do all these things and take that whole thing and delete it. I say, oh God, my list is getting all to white space. And as that white space shows up every day, day, I, I, I complete the tasks at hand. And so the point is that it's, it's really good to have a daily action plan, something you do every single day and a list you can follow and check off so that you don't have to think about it. When you don't have to think about what you have to do on a daily basis and you just get to read a list and say, oh, I go here now and I post this on Facebook. Oh, okay. Go post this on Facebook. It makes a whole lot more sense and you just get the things done without even having to really consciously think about it too much. Mm-hmm. Yep. So now we're going to talk about how to, how to create that daily action plan. 
And uh, I'm going to go through like the basics of no matter what you're doing, and there's all kinds of different techniques and things that are taught in the Empower Network products, but I'm going to show you, we're going to talk about, um, you know, just the basics of mapping out your plan so that you have, you know, there, it's, there's really not that many things that you should be doing on a daily basis. And if you do them every single day, you're going to start to notice results in your business. So the first thing is to determine your two most productive hours in your day. Now, in the beginning, you, you know, it might take more than two hours to do everything I'm going to talk about just because, you know, when you're new, you know, until you get things down to a science, you know, maybe it's going to take you a little bit longer at first. But once you do it, like say after like 30 days, doing the same thing every day for 30 days, you're probably going to get it down to two hours a day, maybe even less. Um, and so I recommend that you figure out when are you the most productive. And when I say productive, I mean when are you clear? We're, we're going to be talking about creating content on a daily basis. So when is the best time of day for you to do that? Some people work best when they first wake up and they're drinking their coffee. Other people know that they're kind of, morning's just not a good time for them, so middle of the day might be better. Or maybe you work full time and you're not going to be able to work this business during your work time. So, you know, you figure out either either you get up early, like I know, Thea, if you're on the call, I know you get up early to create videos before you go to work. Um, other people might want to wait till they get home from work, but just determine when your hours are going to be. When are you going to work your business? And don't try to say, like, I'll fit it in when I fit it in. It's good to determine what your two most productive hours are for you. When do you feel the most creative and the most, you know, ready to, you know, create things and and produce things and and be in action. Determine what those are and then carve those into your schedule on a daily basis so that you know when you're working your business. It's not going to happen if it happens, if you fit it in, you're going to actually have the time carved into your into your day already so that there's no question about it. And you know like, you know, if 10:30 to 12:30 is when you're going to work your business, then you know that at 1030 it's time to work your business and you know that every day and then you just it just becomes a habit. Um, so now I'm going to talk about what we're going to do in those two hours unless Jordan you had anything to say about this piece. No? Guess not. Okay. So um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is what to do with those hours. So the so number one, you want to create a piece of content. You want to create a blog post or a video or preferably both. Create a video and put it on your blog. So that's the first thing you're going to do. Get in the habit of doing that every single day. I mean, literally, um, if you've been on some of our other Hangouts or on um, the training video that Jordan and I did, you've heard me talk about what the only thing that I've done to get to where I am is this creating content. I love videos, but I always put my video on my blog and then I promote both. So you want to create a piece of content. You want to promote that piece of content. And there's a lot of different ways to promote the content that are taught in the 15K formula. Again, if you want to be a professional internet marketer, you've got to own these products. The 15K per month formula has the most amazing training in it where it'll teach you all different ways that you can promote your content. I also have um, on our team site, I also have um, some of my own training that I've put on there about things that I personally do to promote my content. But a lot of these things that you can do to promote stuff is free and it doesn't have to take a lot of time. But it's important that when you create a piece of content that you actually drive traffic to the content. And if you're doing that on a daily basis, over time you're going to get more and more traffic. And then the third thing is to email your list. Every single day, even sometimes twice a day, you should be sitting down and emailing your list. If you were on the 15K per month formula training on Thursday night, Tony Rush did a whole training about emailing. And he, it was, I mean, he went through every single thing that you could possibly need to know about emailing. He taught how to write an effective headline that people will open, how to write emails that people will read, how to get people to click on your links, how to, um, talk about features versus benefits, or benefits versus features, um, how to come up with your archetype. I mean, he went over all this different stuff. But one of the things that he talked about that I love, that I thought was so powerful, is that traffic creates leads, right? So you can get leads by just doing these traffic strategies that were taught also in the 15K per month formula. But traffic creates leads, not sales. Effective communication creates sales. So you should be emailing your list every day. And I'm not talking about the autoresponders 
that you use with the, you know, we have a campaign code for our team that you can put into your Aweber and that's awesome because that way when someone opts into your list, they're going to get a message from you every day for 30 days. But that's not even what I'm talking about. In addition to that, you should be emailing something out every single day that has your voice in it. And it could even be just something letting your list know about this new piece of content that you just created or something that is, you know, a cur current, like Happy New Year, come to our live hangout tonight, whatever. You know, but you should be emailing your list every day. So these are the things that you should be doing um, in those two hours. It's, it's really pretty simple. Jordan, do you want to chime in about you know, these? I, I, def I definitely do, Amy. You know, it really, it really is that simple. And, and, you know, one of the things, there's, there's a, a couple different things I want to touch on right here that I feel are really important for everyone to understand. When I first, uh, when I first created my, how, my, my daily action plan uh, three years ago, the one that I was sticking to on a daily basis when I finally did that uh, 11 months into my business, when I finally knew what a daily action plan should be, like you guys all know now what a daily action plan should be and what you should do and, and, and have that listed out, it did take me longer to get things done at first and, and, and eventually it got to the point because I was still working a full-time job at that point or almost full-time job anyway, like 39 hours a week. My, my boss not wanting me to push overtime. And uh, um, uh, I got to the point finally after after um, you know a month or two of doing this routine on a regular basis to the point where I would literally roll out of bed and before my eyes were even open in the morning, I would like, because I used to be able to slide out of my bed into, my, into this exact desk chair. I could literally slide from my bed into the chair. That's how close it was. And I would be done with my morning routine within 40 minutes before I even woke up. Like before I even really knew what was going on, I was just like just consciously typing and posting on Facebook and, type and adding friends and copying and pasting stuff and doing these different things that I did. It was part of my routine. It became so routine that I just got it done without even thinking about it. Well, that's not going to happen right away, but it happens as you do it again and again and again and make it, make it a conscious routine and make it a routine that you do daily, six, seven days a week. You know, even on even on Christmas, if you have to, you know, even on you know, once you get to the point where you're making money like Amy is, you can probably take a day off where you say, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do this routine today, or or once you make it through, you know, your first 90, 180 days where you're doing this every single day, six, seven days a week, every single day, you could finally get to the point where you say, you know what, I, I'm making really good money in my business, and I feel it's okay for me not to write a blog post every single day at this point in time. I feel it's okay for me to do it when I feel like it, and still email my list on a regular basis. So that's that's the first thing. I really want to touch on there. Um, uh, 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 the the Karen, I like that note. Put computer next to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, there's comments going on on the. It's I'm distracted sometimes. Sorry, but uh, you know the, the the other thing, Amy, that I really want to touch on is is there's people here that have generated one lead and and they say well, I've only got one lead, so I'm not going to email my list. Yeah, I'm going to wait till I have more leads on my list. Well, the bottom line is. It doesn't matter if you've got one lead or 10,000 leads. They don't know that you're emailing. That, well, they know after a while they get to know, hey, I'm on a list. I'm receiving email. Some people actually believe that you're emailing them individually, which is cool. I mean, that's awesome. I thought so for months, and I know, Amy, you still get that all the time. People will email you back like, hey, thanks for thinking of me, but, <laughs> you know, you know and, and, that's, and that's awesome. That's part of the, the thing here, but the point is, the point is, whether you have one lead or 10,000 leads, you need to get in the habit of connecting with that list of lead or leads every single day, every single day. Now, you might skip a day. You might say, well, I'm not going to be able to do it uh, today because I'll be out of town or, I'm, hey, list, hey, people, I'm taking a week off. You're not going to hear from me for a while. But the cool thing with 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 excuse me, something like Aweber is you can actually schedule emails to go out while you're gone if you really wanted to. You can actually schedule blog posts to publish at certain days and certain times and then take that link and publish it into your, or set up like Amy teaches, set up the auto uh, emailer when you publish a blog post. You could literally set up seven blog posts if you were going on a seven-day vacation, have seven blog posts going up while you're gone and have it auto published to your list whenever. But the point is you want to be emailing your list whether you have one or 10,000 because when you get practice with one, that's going to give you, a, that, that person's going to be more likely to sign up. When, when you start doing it and connecting with these people as though you're a real person, which you are, and communicating with them on a real level like you should be, like Tony teaches in the 15K formula, you're going to learn 
uh, these people are going to see you grow. They're going to see you go from brand new to, to, to becoming a really good marketer. They're going to learn along the way. That's how you're going to stay in touch with them and communicate with them. And, and I promise you, it doesn't matter if you've got a list of one or, or, or 10,000, you're going to, you're going to get more out of it by emailing your list on a daily basis, even twice a day. People don't know that uh, some people don't read emails that you send out at 7 o'clock in the morning because they're just not awake at that time and all those emails just go literally that it skips right past them. They, they don't even see it so they might only see the one that, that comes out at 9 o'clock at night or 3 in the afternoon or whatever time you do it. But when you get in the habit of emailing your list daily, they look for your emails. If they don't look for your emails, they're not going to catch the one where you say, hey, I've got this promotion going on that when you join right now, something really cool is going to happen. You're going to get this awesome five hundred dollar bonus package or hey when you get in right now uh, we're doing this really cool thing with our team the entire week where we're gonna help you uh, get people to a live hangout and get signups and all that good stuff so when you get in the habit when you you want you want to make yourself a habit to people and the best way to make a habit to the people on your list is to be in front of them on a daily basis the more you the, the more they get in the habit of opening your emails the more they're gonna want to open them every single day and read your stuff because they love hearing from you people want to hear from you they want to hear all all this good stuff from you. Chris Rushlow is giving me a call right now, but I uh, can't answer that. Well, Amy, um, yeah, let me. That's just all. That's all I got to say about, about that. that. That Tony had said the other night is that, you know, like if you're on my list, you probably know. I, th I think I sent out four emails today, three or four. I don't know. Um, I just kept sending them, <laughs> and one of the things he said is the more that you mail, the more unsubscribes you'll get and the more money you'll make. A lot of people are afraid that if they mail too much, people are going to unsubscribe. It's okay if people unsubscribe. If they unsubscribe, you don't want them on your list anyway. They're never going to, you know, do business with you and they don't want to read your stuff. It's okay, but um, if you, the more you, if you, if you do mail on a regular basis, you are going to start to make money on a regular basis. If people only hear from you once a month, the chances of anything happening, and I see people doing that. I'm on a lot of people's lists on my team, and I see a lot of people who, like, every once in a blue moon, they send out an email inviting people to a Monday night call or something like that. Like, once a month, maybe, maybe even less than that. And, you know, nobody's going to take you seriously if they only hear from you once a month. They're not going to think that you're super passionate about what you're doing. And so, you know, today I was super passionate about getting people here. So I sent out a whole bunch of emails. And the other thing that Tony said that I love, because this is exactly like the where I was today, was just having fun with it. He said, if you're not having fun, you're not doing it right. It shouldn't be like this big burden to send out an email. He, you know, most emails should take 10, maybe 10 minutes to write, maybe, maybe less. Some might take a little more if you're putting, you know, images in or whatever, but not that much more. And it should just be fun. It's, you know, you're having fun. You're connecting with your, with your people that have opted in to be connected to you. So have fun with it. Yeah. You know, Amy, Amy, I was, I was, I was watching some of the, uh, some of the bowl games today. Uh, over at my buddy's house, I, I watch. I, I woke up, I did a bunch of work, then we went shopping at Whole Foods, got a bunch of stuff. Found these really tasty uh, sweet potato chips. By the way, they're absolutely awesome. I, I don't know what brand they are, but those things are like amazing, and they're healthy too, which is really cool. They're healthy and they're and they're like addicting. So that's awesome. But uh, I found those. Uh, um, you know, we were watching the bowl games today, and guess how many? I, I don't. I couldn't even count how many commercials there were from Geico, but. And it wasn't just one commercial. It wasn't just the same thing over and over again. They actually had like four or five different commercials running literally throughout almost there, – there was a commercial of theirs almost on every single commercial break. Mm -hmm. and it, 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 it's getting in front of people. If, if you see a commercial from, from someone once every if, – if, if, if a company plays a commercial once a month – what are the chances that they're going to actually reach their target audience and that person's even going to remember who they are? They're slim to none. Mm -hmm. it's, the, it's the commercials that you hear again and again and again and the brands you see again and again and again that ring up in your mind. And, 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 and you know, it's same on, same on the mailing list. I, I subscribe to people's mailing list that I want to learn stuff from or maybe I bought something from them or maybe I opted in to get a free training or something of the nature and, and I hear from them like three months later I get an email out of the clear blue like three months later I get an email saying, hey, buy this thing. And I'm like, who the heck are, why am I even on your list? I don't even know why I'm on your, I don't even know who you are. Mm 
Mm-hmm. You know, the, the thing is, when, when you're building a list, I mean, chances are, especially in the beginning, people are opting in uh, on a web page that 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 doesn't have you all over it, right? It's not it's not a web page that has you all over it. It's a web page with someone else on it, leading to a video with someone else on it, which is totally fine. That's awesome. That stuff converts. Let's do it. Let's send as much traffic as we can there. But then let's immediately start to follow up with them. Not only with the you know when you follow up with the the, the emails that are pre written. When you follow up with the emails that are pre-written, yes, that's good. You're going to get sign-ups from that, but they don't get to hear your voice or know who you are. So they're going to go and say, well, I'm reading about this Empower Network thing, and oh, look, there's Rob Ford over there making 50000 a month. I'm going to go join with him versus joining with and, – and I got and I got to tell you something. People would rather join with someone who's brand new and just starting to get results, and here is why. I promise you people do not want to join with Dave and Dave because they know they know that that Dave and Dave are they they're they're so far far up and making so much money that they the person who's made zero can't relate with them but now now here's a cool thing I had someone come into my team years ago in a, in a different system in a different thing that I was marketing at the time and she came and she came up and this was literally like right around the time uh, at the end of 2009 when I was just starting to, to, to be consistent and and she came up and she said you know why I picked you Jordan I picked you because I could see that you were determined to get results I knew you didn't have much results to speak of yet in fact I knew that you weren't getting results a, a ton of them but I also could sense that you were passionate about what you were doing, that you were excited about it, and that you were gung ho and you were going to go to the top no matter what. So what I realized was I could literally grab onto the coattails of someone who is just now really getting started and starting to have results and starting to get results, and I can follow along in their footsteps everything they do along the way up to success, up to that point. And guess what happened? She did really well in business. She did very well. She made a lot of money. She became one of the top marketers in that system and went on to become top marketers in a few other things that she did as well. But she joined with me when there was the opportunity for her to get involved with people who are already making 10, 20, 30, 40,000 a month and doing things. Why didn't she join with me? Because she wanted to learn things as they go. Now, now here's the beautiful thing. You heard Amy say this time and again. What she did in the beginning was she got her results. Now, when you get started, you want to get a result, and I don't care how you do it. I, I don't care if you got to call your warm market. I don't care if you got to you know connect with 15 people a day on Facebook and start conversations with them and get out of your comfort zone in the beginning. You know, we talk about this thing in Empower Network, which is absolutely amazing, and it happens all the time. People will come join you even without talking to you. People will buy a, a $500, a thousand dollar, a thirty-five hundred dollar product without even ever having you on the phone because the funnel works so damn well. It's amazing how well it works. But in the beginning, you know, you got to expect that you're going to have to put in some effort that you won't have to put in when you're making ten thousand a month. It's a lot easier to sign someone up at a, at a th- or, or not care if they sign up when you're making ten thousand dollars a month. And not that you should ever care if someone signs up because you shouldn't. You shouldn't care whether or not someone decides to get in right now with you. It doesn't matter because there's going to be someone else that's going to want to get in with you right now. That's not the the the, the point. The point is that. Uh, Wow, Amy, my mind just completely went out to, to right field and I forgot what I was even <laughs> talking about there, but it's a really important point. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's so important. What was I talking about? Um, um. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so important, people. Just bear with me while I, I retrace my steps here. And uh, oh, about getting 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 someone to sign up, about doing whatever it takes to get a result. Yeah. It's so important that you do whatever it takes to get a result because then you can go back and you can say, hey, I just got five visitors to my website and here's how I did it. You know, now, your result doesn't have to be a sign-up. It doesn't have to be, I made up $10,000 in my first day in Empower Network because chances are it's probably not going to happen unless you come in being a master marketer. Get any result. It doesn't matter what that result is. Do whatever it takes to get that result. Then turn around and teach that to people. They're going to see, while wow, this person's in action and got results already. as quick. And, and then you can turn around and say, rather than saying, hey, uh, I got my first lead five months in, you can say, hey, I got my first lead on day one, and here's what I did to do it. Or, hey, I got my traffic on day one, and here's what I did to do it. And on day two, that traffic is now going to become a lead of yours because they want to know how you got traffic to that website. Now they're going to become a lead of yours. And it just keeps going up the line like that. So you keep teaching people what you've done along the way, just like I did with that that, that lady back in the day, just like she followed me up the ladder of success. You now teach people what you're doing to climb that ladder of success or that mountain, if you will, and turn around and say, here's what I did today to get to here. And then tomorrow. Tomorrow you say, here's what I did today to get to here. And then tomorrow you say, here's what I did yesterday to get to today. And you just keep doing that again and again and again and again. And these people are just going to keep following you. 
Yeah. And all the people that are on your list, when you mail that out to them, you say, here's what I did yesterday to get these results, they're going to say, oh, God, that's awesome. I can do that too. And they're going to go out and join your team, and then they're going to get results. And here's the thing. A lot of you have participated. We've had uh, Jordan's co-op and my co-op that have been happening, and we people have been getting a ton of leads from that. And, you know, you've heard me say people have been posting stuff in the – on our Facebook group and I you know I say it every time but I'm gonna keep saying it make a video every time you get you know you, you got 17 leads today make a video about how awesome our team co-op is and that you just got 17 leads and that if they join your team they get access to this co-op too or Linda you just got a sign up yesterday from the co-op like talk about that create content about that that's what people want to hear you know and 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 that's the thing like we have these co-ops not every team has this going on you have access to something that is you know exclusive and it's something that people people want to be part of that wow here's a brand new person that doesn't know how to market that got 27 leads in one day by being part of a co-op that I can be part of if I join this person you know so use that stuff yeah, I mean, every, there's always something that you can, I mean, even if it's just, you know, you can even, um, a lot of the content that I've created over the, the years that I've been doing this exact thing is just, if I don't know how to do something, I go and learn it, I Google it, and I find a video that teaches me how to do it, and then I create a piece of content teaching how to do it. And that's my piece of content for the day. And then people come back because they're like, wow, she is teaching me something valuable. And then the next day, I create a piece of content talking about the result that I got by applying what I learned yesterday or whatever, you know. But there's always, you know, like Jordan said, it's just, you know, building from one day to the next, one day to the next, and just constantly talking about um, what, you're, what you're up to and where you're going and, show, and letting people follow you along your journey. Awesome. Hey, hey, Chris, man, you wouldn't by chance have a have a headset. Uh, everyone, uh, everyone, uh, I'm sure a lot of you know this this smiling face here, uh, Mr. Chris Rushlow. Uh, he was actually just the, uh, the 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 week down in Costa Rica with Dave Wood himself, uh, and I'm sure has a lot of cool stuff that's going to be shared throughout the team here over the next week or two, few weeks, months, whatever. Uh, uh, and and we're going to be doing some exciting stuff. How you doing, man? Happy New Year, Chris. Good man, good, good, good. Just uh, got off the plane a couple hours ago, and uh, just trying to get back set up and everything. You know, awesome. So first, first day back. Excited to be back. Glad to be back. And uh, you know, end the year right. Start the year right. So yeah, yeah were you Welcome saying home. you uh, wanted me to get a headset on? Is that what you were saying? Yeah, if if you got one, man, because I know when Amy when 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 we're talking, there's definitely an echo coming back from your end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Let me grab one real quick. And I think I only have one more slide, and then I can you can see me again. Awesome. Um, so anyway, this is the the second thing, and then the third thing um, in your daily action plan is to listen to an inner circle audio every single day. There's no excuses not to do this every single day. I can honestly say that this is the thing that has made the biggest difference for me in the last year that I've been in the Empower Network because. Um, you know, number one, there's no reason that you can't do this. I put them on my on my iPod as they come out, and I'm sure Chris um, will be able to share with us. He he uploads a lot of these audios, so he he has some stuff in the can that hasn't even been uploaded yet that we're going to be. Chris, do something about your your audio. It's so loud. Um, anyway, he has some stuff in the can that's not even uploaded yet. But you know, if I run out of things to listen to, I just listen to something again. I've listened to some of these things five to ten times. I'm not even kidding. I've listened to Aaron Rashkin's interview at least ten times, maybe more. And I guess we're, we're actually going to be getting stuff coming out every day, real soon. Yeah, here. yeah. I thought I thought that's what you said. So you know, like there's there's never a shortage of things to listen to because you can always re-listen to something, and it's going to make a difference. Like I I've listened to things. On the fifth time I listen to it, I get something I didn't get the first four times. I'm not even kidding. And so there's no excuse because you can listen to these things. If you put it on your iPod or burn it to CD, whatever you need to do, you can listen to it while you're working out. You can listen to it while you're driving, cleaning, whatever. You know, just multitask. Make sure you're listening to these things every day. I know Jordan listens to them while he's marketing. I don't, I don't do that because I can't focus on two different things like that at the same time. But if I'm running on a treadmill... I can I can absorb every single word that's that they're saying and it's awesome, and so the, the inner circle audios are going to do two things. They're going to reprogram your mind and 
get you know get you into more of a success mindset. I mean, I literally did not believe. I used to think ten thousand dollars a month was a lot of money until I started listening to these things. And if you listen to these things on a regular basis, it'll reprogram your mind. It'll reprogram your financial blueprint, everything. And it's, you can't listen to one of these things without. Um, God, there's a lot of noise, you guys. <laughs> Chris, Chris is fixing that right now. Uh, Chris, hit the mute button in the top right corner until you get your headset fixed, dude. Thank you. Awesome. Um, Much better. <laughs> so, um, so here's the other thing: you can't listen to one of these things every single day and not have something to to write. You know, not have a piece of content to create. I mean, I when, every time I listen to an inner circle, I think of like five videos I want to make or five blog posts I want to write because there's so much value in these things. So this is going to help your business in multiple ways. It's going to help you to reprogram your mind, and it's going to also help you to you know to be providing value to the marketplace because unless somebody's in the Empower Network in the inner circle, they don't have access to the stuff that you have access to in there. So if you can regurgitate some of it in in the form of a piece of content, email your list about it, you know, etc., you are going to be a valuable, you know, member of the marketplace that people are going to want to listen to every day. So this is, you know, I I can't stress enough how important this is. And again, there's no excuse not to do this daily because it's not something that they they purposely created this this course. And I'm sure Chris can talk more about this because he's part of the creation of everything, but. They, it was created so that it doesn't take any extra time. Some of these audios are an hour long. Some of them are more than that. But if you, you know, I rake leaves and listen to this stuff. You know what? And it makes it so much more enjoyable when I'm mowing my lawn or raking my leaves to hear Tony Rush talking about whatever he's talking about than it is to just go out there and rake leaves and not be doing that. Like, I love listening to these things, you know, while I'm running in the mountains or raking leaves or doing my laundry or whatever. So there's really no excuse. So um, if you guys want to chime in, I'm, I'm done with my slides, so I'm going to go back to my regular screen here. Perfect. You know, uh, uh, one, one thing I want to say about, about that example, well, first off, there's a comment here, and, and uh, Karen, I, I know you had mentioned you're going to move your computer into your bedroom right next to your bed. Uh, if you have the space to have two separate a separate office from your bedroom, I would highly recommend it. The only reason I was doing that is because I literally lived, I had all my entire apartment was jam-packed into this tiny little room that's smaller than my office uh, in my dad's basement. That's where I was living. I, I think it's better for your creative mind to not sleep and, and work in the same room. Uh, it's, it's much better to be more productive when you have it in two separate areas. So if you have the ability to keep your office separate from your bedroom, definitely do that. If, if, if you don't, uh, it's, it's okay to do, and certainly uh, eventually you'll, you'll be able to move out of your bedroom and, and buy yourself an office in, in, a, in a bigger house and what have you. Um, as, far, as far as creating content, I, I literally, the other night I was listening to Tony Rush's training on, on email marketing that we, we talked about earlier. It's in the 15K formula, which is that training alone is worth the it's worth thirty thousand dollars. I mean, for the for the money that you get it for to learn the kind of email marketing that Tony Rush has done to make a hundred thousand dollars or more in a single month is that worth a thousand dollars to you? I mean, I think it's insane. But the point is that that while I was listening to that training, I actually had to pause it like seven times because I just kept writing. I wrote seven emails in a row. I literally couldn't stop writing, and I turned some of those emails into blog posts. The content just like comes out of nowhere. It's 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 amazing. It's like it's magical or something, you know. Uh, that's that's what I want to say about that, Chris. I'm gonna pass it over to you, buddy. I know you got something cool to say. <laughs> well, you know, that's funny. Me and Dave were talking about that that module that uh, Tony just did, and you know, that's all he does: solo ads and emails his list, and he keeps in touch with his team, you know, and his people. And it's a good team builder, you know. That's it. He keeps it that simple there's nothing complex about all this stuff everybody wants uh, the methods I, I had a big I actually had a big conversation with with Dave about this while I was down there and it was actually quite a realization for me too because I, I have a lot of new members that start and say you know I go through the fast start training you know but I want to know how to really do this you know I want to know the how to's and the funny thing is that's all in the 15K, and, and there is some training uh, there that, that gets you started, uh, basic marketing stuff. But uh, quick story. <clears throat> About three years ago when, when Dave and I were just getting started online, and he had 
all day and night to figure out what he wanted to do uh, for his team. You know, he had just had his first real taste of success. And can you guys still hear me? Yep. Okay, cool. I was hearing a little bit of my echo in the background and then it stopped. So I didn't know if I went dead there. Um, and he had this uh, concept like he had to teach everybody to do what, what he did, which was quite elaborate, you know, and he and because he's he's really smart, you know, and he just focuses on stuff and really gets down everything. And so he what we experienced is that for the first year we were teaching everybody how to do this stuff and and people would uh, you know say hey thanks we love the training and then they would not duplicate they would not produce any results they they were so caught up in uh, getting everything right before they really started and wanting to learn all of the methods before they started that they really never got started and you know trying to get the blog to to a picture on your blog to move three inches you know the other way that you know just seemed like impossible I spent hours on doing that one time and so people get in these loops that it happens and you get stuck in in learning all this how to and you don't focus on the money making activities which is reaching out touching people over and over again whether that's through Facebook other you know Twitter Pinterest all of these social media sites is kind of where you want to start and then emailing them you know getting building a list and emailing them all the time and not emailing them some canned autoresponder that someone gives you that says this is gonna work for you because it really never does that good uh, it'll help but it doesn't really do you any justice uh, because the main element there is your personality which nobody else has and you got to put your personality into it you know that's the biggest thing you don't have to be a guru or a leader to put your personality in something and someone really like you and want to join you it's 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 really not that hard it's very simple to do actually and so um, when we stopped teaching people all of these complex things that's when we found people starting to actually duplicate and starting to have success online and getting results. What we realized is that we were giving them so much how-to from the beginning that they didn't take any action. And so we said, here's, a f here's the eight, let's boil it down to the eight core steps and you do those and get your content out there. Because the easy part is getting it out there after you create it. The, the biggest part is creating it. You know, once you get over that hurdle, then it's easy. Just like Jordan says, you get in a flow, it becomes magical, it just starts flowing, and it works well. So it's just that's just the same thing. I'm just kind of reaffirming that is that um, let's not get too caught up in in you know learning a new traffic strategy every every week. Let's do what we know works, keep it simple like Tony Rush does, and do it consistently every day. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, guys, I mean, I, Costa Rica was awesome. I had all kinds of great conversations with Dave. I guess, uh, you know, I had to get up at like 3.30 in the morning and catch a flight. And then I had a delayed flight, so I didn't get in until later. So I've been traveling almost all day. And uh, I haven't talked to Dave because uh, he was still asleep, you know, at 3.30. He's comatose Some if he's gone to bed by that time, you know. Um, so I heard that the call was muffled last night. The, yep. the main and power call was it that mm -hmm. the whole way the whole time? Yeah. You know, we we checked afterwards, uh, and he looked at the conference call, and he said there was like five people on after the two and a half hours, and he was like, "Oh, it's probably New Year's. Maybe that's what it is. We never have people drop off like that." I was I was skyping you and texting you, and I'm like, "I don't know if you're getting these messages." I wasn't. No, Chris, no, you tell I wasn't. him to hold the phone near yeah, his mouth oh or take his God. hand off the microphone or whatever. I got I got I, I got eight Skype messages and five emails. <laughs> Jordan sent me one. The thing is, I had uh, I was in Dave's room. And so I didn't have my internet because I was in my other room where I had my phone and everything that had internet over there. But I was hanging out in his room where I didn't have my computer. So I'm just hanging out there and I didn't have access. I wasn't <laughs> looking at Skype. I wasn't looking at emails. You know, I didn't have my phone for anyone to call me uh, to let me know. You know, so it was, was like perfect phone. stereo for you. You were, you heard it right up close. Well, we can hear you laughing in the background. Oh, like there the whole you time. Go. At least you got that. You know, <laughs> that was important. I got, I got, uh, I got the first 45 minutes on video. Hmm. So I have that, but not the two and a half hours. Yeah. Yeah. 
I stayed on for the whole thing, but it was painful. <laughs> Just because I couldn't hear him, and it was like I was struggling could, could to hear you, those. Could you understand what he was saying at all, even though it was hard? Um, every once in a while, it was like he would shift something, and I could understand it. But for the most part, it was no. Hmm. Okay. Tell him not to do that thing with the with the phone on speaker anymore, walking around like saying? this. Oh yeah, he's like talking to the phone the whole time, like this, you know, <laughs> holding his phone. I got it on video. It's hilarious. It well, is. I got it on video. So. Well, at least you can put the video up because then people can all hear, you know, or yeah, take yeah. the audio off of that video even. Yeah, I was. David I was going. I was actually. Good. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. He always sounds good. Yeah. I I think I'm going to put the video up as a blog post and uh, share the video with everybody. And then, you know, as a, and this is a great marketing strategy for everybody for some content is uh, once I share that video, post, repost that video on your blog and it cuts off right at 45 minutes. And then, you know, if you don't know how to do any type of video editing, don't do that. Just right underneath the blog, say, hey, to listen to the rest of the, of the interview, join the inner circle. And you can see this and all the other ones and how he finishes. Now it's probably very muffled, so it's hard to hear, but people who are determined, we'll see if we can clean it up and edit it, see mm -hmm. what we can do, see what kind of magic we can work. We got some crazy people down there at Empower that do things I we never even heard or knew or thought or didn't know that we didn't know. You know? Nice. Mm -hmm. So tech geniuses. Well, it's cool, too. Some some of these people are starting to show up on our team. I'm noticing some of the talents, and I'm getting really excited. Like, I don't know if you're on here. Mark just created a whole graphics pack for our team with all these cool images. And Suzanne, I shared your video with Jordan the other night, and he's, his comment was, holy shit, because it was so... <laughs> I don't even know how to do what you did. And I thought I knew how to make videos, you know. It's really good stuff. So we might be hitting you guys up to help us with some marketing pieces and stuff. Yeah, you know, it totally open to, to bringing people on to, to – if, if we can have somebody bring a talent to the table that everybody can benefit from, all for it. Mm -hmm. All for it, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If everybody can benefit from it and they can replicate it or duplicate it or if it's a graphics pack or something like that, absolutely, let's do it. Yeah. Yep, good stuff. So, um, hey, Jordan, should we talk about, before we get too far into the call, should we talk about what we have brewing for the week? I, I think we should, Amy. I'm, I'm super excited about it. I think, you, you know, uh, bef before we get into this, I mean, this, this is, I don't know, I'm hearing a complete echo of me talking right now. I don't know if it's... Uh, that's really weird. You both have headsets on. It's amazing. Hmm. I'm Must hearing an right. echo of everything I say is coming back in my ear, and it's really annoying me. But I'm, I'm going to try and focus anyway here. Well, take your headphones off and just do this so you can still talk. There so you. I put the mic near you, though. Can you guys hear me? Yep. I feel awkward talking like this, but I'll do it anyway. <laughs> I, I feel awkward, but I'll do it just to make you guys happy, and so I don't get confused. Um. I don't even remember what I was going to talk about. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. So, so 14 months ago, when 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 Empower Network first launched, and we literally we didn't we didn't have uh, a websites. We couldn't sign people up with a system that you had, we didn't have a join page. Like like when you click that button down below right now, there's a join page there that wasn't there. Like you can go to that page right now with the person who invited you here and click that button down below and fill out that page and, and get in the team right now. We didn't have that. It was it wasn't even there. But we did. What we did was we did this huge push right away. We, we, we it was massive action right away. Like creating this just insane frenzy. Like like what Dave Wood does and what he teaches uh, in the Costa Rica intensive. You actually learn about the insane frenzy of creating massive commotion and energy and 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 just going crazy. And and when you think you're doing overkill, here's the thing: when you think you're doing overkill, you're not doing enough. It's okay for you to go nuts once in a while and literally just like blast your list 10 times in a day. Yeah, once in a while to blast your list 10 times in a day. But it's okay to do that once in a while and have stuff going all over Facebook like crazy and, and Google Plus and Twitter and just emailing and voice broadcasting and, and, and texting your people in whatever way you can. We don't even get phone numbers anymore, so we can't really voice broadcast. 
podcast anymore. But with we, I used to generate phone numbers with my leads and what have you. But the point is, just go crazy and create massive commotion. And and that the, the training on how to do all that stuff is actually in the Costa Rica intensive. That course is insanely awesome. Uh, uh, but so what we did was we just went nuts, and we we didn't just do one hangout like we're doing here tonight. We actually were doing webinars at the time, and we just did webinars like every single day. Like we just went nuts with webinars for like I don't even know how, how long was that, Chris or Amy? Do you guys remember how long we did that for? Did what for? The the series we did webinars like every day for when we first launched the oh. network. Yeah. I don't know. I mean you guys did some, you and Chris and then Dave and Dave were doing um live live streams pretty much every night and yeah, it was amazing too. I think I shared about this a little bit in one of the other hangouts where like they would be on, I'd be like giving my kids a bath, trying to get them into bed so I could get on the live stream. And by the time I got on, I got a bunch of sales and I didn't do anything. Like Dave and Dave just did it. They're amazing. It's an amazing way to just put something in front of your list, to have something to send to your list every day that's current and fun. And, and then to let Dave and Dave, you know, or, you know, whoever do the selling for you. Copy and paste. Yeah. Copy and paste. Yeah, it's awesome. So they had an affiliate contest, a couple, the, a couple affiliate contests ago where they had daily action assignments, and they're doing them right now. I, I posted this in the Facebook group. Dave and Dave are posting stuff constantly, assignments on their on their Facebook pages. So make sure you're subscribed to those. Make sure you just – I recommend just going to their pages a few times a day so that you're not missing anything. But if, um, back like a year uh, – it was last April, this past April, there was an affiliate contest going on, and they had – um, Tony Rush, Aaron Rashkin, and Tracy Walker each would post an assignment, um, one in the morning, one in the middle of the day, and one in the evening. So three times a day, everybody was emailing their list. They were giving us swipe copy three times a day. And, um, well, Tracy Walker was giving us a social media assignment in the middle of the day, and then Tony was giving us swipe copy at night, and Aaron was giving us swipe copy in the morning. I was emailing my list like crazy, and that was when my business had the biggest amount of momentum was just using their copy and just sending it out and and right now Dave and Dave are doing the same thing so take advantage of that people were asking me about that I got all these leads from the co-op what should I do well email them every day use the swipe copy that they're sending you sending and and also use your voice like Chris was saying let people know your personality send you some of your own stuff as well send them to your blog posts and stuff like that but um, there's a huge amount of momentum going right now, and if they're going to do the work for you, take advantage of that. Awesome. Absolutely. I just well shot over said. an invite to, to to Rob Four. He's watching us right now. I know Rob, you're you're, you're watching this hangout with me Hi, and Amy Rob. and Chris, and uh, I just shot you over an invite, man. If you, I don't know if you want to jump out, if you if you or if you're busy just like collecting money while you don't do a whole lot of stuff, Rob. <laughs> well, he's just he's just and... spying. That's all he's doing. He's <laughs> yeah. just want to spy, you know. Oh man, well, we but, but I, people to spy. I love it. I love it, man, and I love you, Rob. You know, it's it's amazing, Chris. Uh, and Amy, you might, I, I don't know, I don't know how, how much you know about this or if you, you, you heard this, but Rob actually came out to an event that we did out here uh, in Colorado. It's called the Mile High Mastermind. We did this event in uh, like June or July. I forget when it was. It was sometime in summer. It was in June. June, okay. Because uh, I was going to come, but I went to the Empower event. Yeah. And they changed the date, I think. Yep, yep, and yep. And then I couldn't come to the, I don't know. But it was in June. Right, right, right. So, 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 Rob was actually there, and he actually came up on stage and did this magical stuff, like uh, uh, how to help people break out of their hurts, habits, and hangups, and like have a breakthrough. And it was awesome. Uh, I think he he was also doing magic tricks and what have you. But me and Rob Walking were just on broken glass. We didn't do that there, but he was doing magic. <laughs> he was doing stuff with cards and dollar bills and like shoving pens through doll. It was crazy what he was doing. Um, you but gotta come to the Empower event and see what he does at the Empower events. You gotta see that magic. He does this cool NLP energy. stuff that's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention, you just get to talk to him. I mean, how cool mm -hmm. is that just to talk to Rob? He shakes his butt on stage. He dances around to this Jason Mraz song. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if anything else, that's why you need to come. Yeah. And no other reason. <laughs> you got to see Rob dance to Jason Mraz. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. Well, he holds up poster boards that say "Do not hesitate, I'm free," and all the like lyrics of the song while he dances around. It's really fun. You know that that process he led us through with with that was one of the most transformational processes. I, I had a major breakthrough uh, stemming from that. That was one of the major things. Uh, that was a series of things that happened to me in a series of events that all had to happen like that. 
uh, for me to have some serious breakthroughs and things that happened to me. And 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 Rob knows this. I've told him it, it was transformational. I mean, I was I was literally uh, teleported back to four years old in my mind and in my mind's eye. My my brain was like, here's your memory. Here's what's going on here, right here on a silver platter. This is what happened, just like that. And from that, I was able to understand something that had held me back my whole life. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's yeah. really powerful. I've heard multiple people say that Rob's session, at both events, he did a similar thing. And I've heard multiple people, myself included, say that that was one of the most powerful things that they got out of the event was, like you said, Chris, having some kind of transformation from that that little process that he took, takes us through. It's pretty pretty amazing. It's amazing going through that process with 3,000 people, too. Like there's there's nothing like it, you know. It's it's you know pretty awesome. So Rob, anyway, you're sorry, more Jordan. than welcome to come out, but if you want to come out on the hangout, man, it's 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 cool, man. Rob, come we're, on we're, out. We're, we're, we're Hold up your coaster board if you come and shake your butt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <Right>? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, Jordan. We totally interrupted you. So sorry. Oh, no, no. Keep. I love it when you interrupt me. <laughs> otherwise, I just keep talking. I just keep talking and. You know, well, maybe you were leading into uh, this week nonsense or what have you. You know, I, I well the thing the, the, Rob Ford that whole concept interrupted me, and and, and the the thing was um, last year we did Empower Network. We launched it, made a ton of money. I mean, literally more money than I've ever made before in my life at the, at that point in time. Uh, uh, without having launched my own product to a list of people that I didn't have control over, you know, without doing a big product launch or whatever that that other people were selling for me, uh, making the money on my own, Empower Network was 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 absolutely insane. And uh, you know, then I pulled back after some things happened. Pulled back, kind of just sat back and watched all this money continue to flow into my bank account. But I didn't really pay attention to it too much. It was just kind of coming in every week. I was just getting money deposited in my bank account every week. I was like, this is amazing. But I didn't even know that it was happening. And then I was at this event, and Rob Four and I were chatting late night. I was trying to pick his brain for his magic, his SEO guru stuff, and all the magic that that Rob Four knows, and just whatever. And he looked me in the eye at one point, and he said, "Jordan, you're a freaking idiot." <laughs> what are you talking about Rob, he said, "Dude, you're you're making thousands of dollars a month doing absolutely nothing with Empower Network, and you're not promoting it. Like this is hands down the best money making opportunity that I know of that exists right now. And I've been around making a lot of money in a lot of programs for a very long time. You know, Rob, Rob creates." Uh, six figures a year in any program that he wants, any program that he touches, and he's like, I am going full on with Empower because it's just there's so much money there to be made. The product line is so good, the sales funnel is so amazing. You're a freaking idiot if you don't get in this thing and just go full on because because you're losing out on on, on what you know what what you could be doing. And so it took me it took me a couple months after that day happened. Uh, to, to go through my own stuff, but I finally came back over here and said, Rob, I want to thank you for that conversation, man. I've said it a time and again to you. I know that, but I really want to thank you, man, because I'm having okay. fun now and, and, and just doing awesome. So, Hey, Jordan. Um, yeah, buddy. I just got a message from, from Rob here on Skype, and, and he's kind of having trouble getting on uh, the, the webinar here. Or he, he wants to get on the Hangout. Um, do you have his right to... Uh, Gmail there. I can't say it over the, the line there, but yeah, uh, yeah. I t- I'll tell you what, man. I'll I'll invite both of them. I know he's got a couple. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, he, he's telling me the one that that's got the riches in it. So whichever mm. one that is, um, and and uh, he should tell, be able to get on them. But shoot me an email real quick, Rob. Uh, or Chris, uh, post it in the chat in our chat. I'm trying to find. The, oh, there, there it is. Yeah. yeah okay. You're a technical in, guy. <laughs> I am right. I know. Right. Okay, awesome. that's the email. Um, there you go. While oh, you're yeah, doing I, I, that, I I'm going to say something. I that one. Go ahead, Amy. I just want to say something for Jordan's team and followers because um, I know that Jordan stepped out for a while, and if anybody's wondering if he's like serious about this, if he's here to stay, all that good stuff, I just want to chime in for a minute about that. He did get the message from Rob, but he, I've been talking to Jordan pretty much every day. Um, for the last, well, since since he came back in, and I just want you to know, like he's he's seriously committed to this. He's not going anywhere. He's stepping in. He's helping all of us. So um, I know that, you know, he was gone for a while, but he's back. He's really back. Believe me, 
I'm telling you, oh, <laughs> there's well, nothing to worry about. Especially after this weekend. This weekend, uh, this weekend, I made more money this weekend than uh, I'm making in, in a month in any other program I'm involved in. So. Dude, you know what? <laughs> I, I just have to. I just have to say, Jordan. Like, you know, it's forever. So everybody knows. He he called me up and he's like, dude, like I'm ready. You know, I'm like I'm like 99% in power. You know, and I said, whoa, 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 whoa. wait a second. Mm. You you got to be all in, <laughs> not not 99% in. And if you're coming back, you're coming to stay. And he's like, done. So just so you guys know, I, I didn't just be like, oh, hey, Jordan, glad to have you back. I said, dude. We're serious you gotta, here. You, you, you got to let me know. Like, let, We're going to put a site together. We're going to do training. We're going to do this. But I need to know you can't be 99% in. You got to be all in. And yeah. he, he committed. So we're ready to run. Oh, we're, we're running, man. I mean, people are, people are coming on like crazy. Uh, I don't know if you know Chris, man, but, but, uh, my first month back, I literally just following what they were, I, I literally jumped in back on day one and I said, I'm just going to follow this 15 K formula. I'm literally just going to do what they're teaching me in this 15 K formula. And I got to tell you, man, Rob, that's that training you did, uh, uh, to get content repurposed and all that crazy stuff. I mean, I've got a, I've got a piece of content over on, on, on slideshow that got like 2000 views in a couple days from what you taught me, Rob. That's awesome, man. I love, uh, Oh, it's so good. But so I just started following the 15 K formula. I said, I'm just going to follow this thing and I'm going to do what they teach me. And, and, and it's, it's cool because they're like, here is your assignments for the week. Create five pieces of content about this. And here's how Chris Records getting traffic, and here's how Rob Ford is getting traffic, and Dave Wood does this whole magical mystical video training. Here's the kind of videos you want to create, and you do things that are you know uncomfortable to you. In fact, you've never done them before, but you do them anyway because someone who's making a couple million dollars a year says, "Hey, this is what you should be doing." So you just do it. And that's what I decided to do. I just decided to get in and follow that 15K formula day after day after day. And over the past month, uh, uh, I put in about 15 people into my team. It's been absolutely awesome. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not rocket science. It's just getting in and following their guidance and doing what they tell you to do and just, just doing it. And, 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 and understanding that it might take a minute. It might take a minute. It might take, it might take a few weeks. It might take a month and a half before the results become consistent for you. But as long as you stay consistent on your daily action plan, everything's just going to magically happen. At one point, you're all of a sudden going to have consistent results flowing in as well. Yep. <laughs> well said. <laughs> That's exactly right. S spoken truly like someone who's been there and just gone through that. And, and with, with that comes wisdom that there's no other way to get that uh, than going through it, really, yeah. experiencing it. Yeah. Jordan, um, I don't know why I can't get Rob on here. I've invited him a couple times. Oh, sorry, Amy, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to say, I, I don't know. Do you need to, to tend to Rob there? Um, I don't know. I've, I've invited him both of the email addresses and what have you a couple times. So if, I'm, I'm if, communicating with him. I'll get him. He might be taking a second. Maybe he's getting his flashcard so he can hold them up for us. Maybe he's wiggling tricks. his butt around. Yeah, I think that's what he's, he's doing. He's warming up. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the meantime, Jordan, let's talk about why this is the perfect week to join Empower Network on our team. Mm. Yeah, go, go for it, Amy. This is, this is exciting. Yeah. Um, so what we, Jordan and I have been talking about, you know, we've got 17 days till the uh, event and but we're, we're just going for it and we want to help other people on her. Here he comes. Hi, Rob. Hey. <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. We want to help other people on her. Here he comes. Hi, Rob. <laughs> oh, it's delay. I hear a delay. He's watching the recording over there. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> you, you got a headset there you can put on, brother? Or yeah, actually, let me uh, kill pause it. That, pause that video. You know that. Well, yeah. I'm... Happy New Year, Rob. Happy, Happy New Year. Year. Yeah, let me, uh, kill it. Pause, that, pause that video, you know that. Well, yeah. Oops, should we kill it? No, no. I think so. You're still here yep. with us. Yep, you're here. All right. You should be able to see your, see us on hand in the Hangout. All right, well, yeah, no, you know what? I'm kind of technically challenged. I uh, I don't get these Hangout things. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, well, I see them, but I don't know where they are. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's really funny. So, yeah, you know, it was pretty exciting listening to you guys because this past year, you know, what's it been with Empower Network now? What, 14 months, 15 months? I mean, it's, it's just been insane. We've, we've 
we've watched people's lives change uh, in a very profound and dramatic way. And so it, it has. It's been incredibly fun. And like you guys were sharing at the events, you know, when we do these, the, this NLP stuff, I mean, how cool is that? I mean, I get so many old lady grandma hugs after that. After we do that, it's crazy. Those are the best kind. Uh huh. And yeah, I also, where they come I, up I, and they're, yeah, where they come up and they go, hey, you know, I've been dealing with this issue for fifty mm. years, and now, now I have clarity. Mm. You know, it's it's pretty insane. Wow. So where will I go to actually see you guys at? To the Google to Google um, Plus. Okay. Forward slash hangouts. Like where are you where are you logged in? There should be a you should be able to see us there. Okay, I'm gonna get feedback here. So Real time. Yeah, where, wherever wherever you opened up the hangout and joined the hangout, a window should have popped up, a little side window, and that that should have all four of us in our private chat. You know, all the private secret top secret stuff that we share in, in that chat. That <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, Chris. All, all the top secret stuff doesn't even exist. It is just do what do what they no, teach you. No, 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 no. You, you guys, you guys are gonna love this. You guys are gonna love this. I was I was talking with Aki last night, right? Uh huh. And uh, and and that's the, Dave Wood's brother for people. Right. Like yeah, I got I got to clarify. Yeah, Aki Wood, <laughs> uh, Dave, Dave's older brother, and and I've known Aki uh, as long as I've known Dave, and so uh, he wants to learn some SEO. And so, you know, we're talking, and I'm like, yeah, man, you know, we, we can talk a little bit and, and everything. He goes, no, Chris, you don't understand. This is hilarious. This is Aki, right? <laughs> he says, no, I want you to tell me the stuff that only SEOs talk about amongst each other. Like, where? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, I, and I had to explain to him, I said, you know, SEO is it's simple. <laughs> It's just a lot of steps. It's it's simple, but it's not easy. I said that that crazy stuff that we talk about amongst each other, and Rob can attest to this. It's it's like step eight after we've taught you steps one through seven, you know. But most people won't get to step eight, you know, and and that's all it is. And he's like, no, I want to know the secrets. And I'm like, you've been hearing your brother talk about this for years. <laughs> <laughs> now, granted, mm -hmm. SEO can be complicated, but I, I think uh, that that comes more from people complicating it than uh, than how complicated it can be. Uh, one of the best in the world at simplifying things is Rob at, at doing that. He's he's helped me out tremendously because I I have an tendency to to complicate things. No, at Rob, no. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. I, mean, I try to explain some to him, and he's like, "You're making my head hurt right now. What is wrong?" <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I remember well, when you explained SEO to me before uh, before Empower Network launched. Chris, you were drawing circles and layers and crazy stuff on your whiteboard he loves down there. And, oh my goodness! I was like, you know what, Chris? That looks. <laughs> I actually it made sense to me after an hour and a half of him explaining it. But at that point, I was like, I can't. I'm not fucking doing that stuff. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> it's geeky stuff that you really don't need to know, and it just gets you caught up in a bunch of time wasting activity. You know, like there's no point to it really until until you're you're playing in 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 keywords that you know rob four is ranking number one for already uh just just accept the fact you're probably not going to rank number number one uh if he's there already then you know and if you're okay with number two or three then play around <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah well you that. know the neat thing about that is and that's what i've really uh, liked about empower network is you know there's no right or wrong way to build this thing you know, so if you're not geeky like me and Chris, you don't have to be geeks. You know, Amy, you were sharing, you know, just do copy, paste, and send it out to your list every day. That It's huge. I mean, just copy, paste, make money. You hang out with social media. You got Facebook and Twitter, and you just connect with people. You know, I had a guy on my team, one of the things he was doing, because he just didn't have any money. And so he just went out, and he went out to different forums, and he, he was going to... I guess there's a function on these forums where you can view unanswered questions. People that posted a question, and he would just go through these questions, just be helpful, track down the answers for them. And then in his little signature link, just link to Empower Network, he was signing up one or two a week just from doing that. That's mm -hmm. that's amazing, man. You know, it it, it that's a really good that's a really good point there, Rob. It it doesn't. Everyone wants to know what the exact daily routine that someone like you would do, Rob. And the bottom line is, what you do on a daily basis might not work for someone else. Well, but that's I, right. Yeah, that's that's, that's got to be different for every person. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's absolutely right. I mean, if all four of us hung out in the same room and we all did what we did every day, we would all look at each other like, you're crazy. Why are you doing that? Yep. Everything that we do works for us. And that's the neat thing is there's no right or wrong way. The right way is what will you do that you'll do consistently? You know, understanding, of course, that there's going to be a learning curve. You know, if I hung out with Amy and she was going to teach me all this warm, fuzzy social media, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm going to have a learning curve. It's like, what? I can't even find the Google Hangout button. <laughs> you know? So once we get past being uncomfortable learning, you know, what would you be comfortable doing? Mm-hmm. You know, I, I show some people at SEO and they look at me like I'm absolutely out of my mind going, how could you, how could you bully yourself like that? I've yeah. been told I'm psycho for trying to show people that crazy complex stuff on. Well, you are psycho. I've seen some of your crazy <laughs> diagrams. And- that's what's so great about the 15K formula is that people can go through that product and figure out what they want to do on a daily basis. Because that's right. That's yeah. what I always say. Don't try to learn everything because your your head will explode. Right. Just find something that you think you would like to do every day. Um, well, it's something that like Jordan, you know, Jordan shared with me a while ago. He said. You know, go out there and take a look at the different marketing methods available and, you know, give yourself a time limit, seven to ten days. Find the six, eight, ten different ways people are building it and find the way that resonates best with you. And then just go focus on that one way. And you're right, Amy, that 15K formula, I don't know. I've spent thousands and thousands of dollars online. I don't think I've ever found any better training than is what's right there. No. Well, especially since they're constantly updating it. I was talking about this a little bit before, you know. A lot of the stuff that I paid thousands of dollars for a few years ago is irrelevant now. But with that product, if you buy it, it never goes out of date because if something does go out of date, they'll redo it. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. Yep. And uh, just talking with Dave about that, it it looks like we're probably going to continue doing webinars every week. Uh, and just continually updating that product and actually doing it weekly, every week, continuing to commit to actually doing that once a week, uh, new stuff. That's, that's, the, that's on the about table. That is you're getting what's working today for real people today. As Amy shared, you know, what, what used to work six months ago. Well, well, we all know if you do any SEO, what used to work back in February and April, so what was that, six months ago, doesn't work anymore. No. It changes that fast. And so by having a resource like the 15K that's constantly, every week, being updated by people that are having results today, uh, that's priceless. Mm -hmm. And the leaders are constantly changing. You know, new people are showing up, doing their thing. And so it's great that they can pull them out onto these webinars to teach what they're doing. Because the leaders that are teaching today are not the same people that taught it a year ago in the the product. Or like the guy that just came into the affiliate contest. Oh, so my God. 20 billion points. In, yeah, that's in one day. In yeah, Vic. Jeez. Yeah. Hold on, guys. Well, one quick sec, guys. I'll be right back. Give me a quick cool, second cool. here. Hey, before, we, before we move on, uh, Amy, let's really quick just share with people what our plan is for this week. And really, you know, we're, we're, we might just continue doing I don't know how long we're going to continue doing this for. But, uh, you know, we you heard a little bit before about when we first got involved in Empower Network last year. And what we did was daily – daily webinars. We were doing webinars and getting our new team members to invite people to those webinars and we were selling the stuff for them and doing all this stuff. So Amy, to just share really quick what our vision is for this week and what we're going to be doing here and why you should actually, whoever's on here who's not in yet, you should click that button down below that says register now. It says register now, start earning 100% commissions. I mean, that alone should make you want to get in. 100% commissions alone should make you want to just get in right now. But go ahead and do that and and you're going to be part of our vision here this week and, and well into 2013. Yeah, it's a great way to start off the year. Um, and like he, like Jordan mentioned before, when you do join, you'll create a username, and then you can take your username and add it to the link that you see up above on the page that you're watching this on. You can blast that link out starting right now, if you join right now, and get people to this Hangout right here. And then when they click the Register Now button, it'll be coded to you, and you'll get the sale. Mm-hmm. And so what we're going to be doing this week is we're going to be doing this every night this week. And we're going to be doing trainings at, where you can invite your people Um, every night this week just to get some momentum to help you blast off into the new year. So if you're not in yet, you can join and have some place to invite people to every night this week to um, plug into our team, plug into our vision, plug into our community, get some great training, and um, 
you know, and not to mention get your people in now so that they can come to Austin with us in 17 days because that will make the hugest difference for everybody's business. The more people you have there, um, Rob, you might, maybe you can chime in a little bit about that because you've probably had more people at the last events than any of us. Um, has, has the events created a huge amount of income and momentum for you? Um, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, in fact, it's one of the things, you know, maybe a lot of people on the call don't know, but I have a team of over 10,000 in another network marketing company and a team of 8,600 in another one. And then, of course, we, we got our own power network thing. But one of the things I've, I've heard for years and, and I've just seen it come true so many times is if you get yourself to a live event, your business, you'll add about 100 people the next year to your business. And if you can get anybody on your team to that event, they'll build their business by 100 the next year. So you go out there and you get 12, 24 people on your team to that event, you're just going to explode, just explode. Mm -hmm. So yeah. this, this is actually the first event I, on purpose, told people, get off your lazy butt and get to the event. Yeah, well, David Wood goes as far as to say, if you don't show up in Austin, I will not work with you. Like, yeah. I will not give you the time of day. You're not serious. And, yeah. you know, Jordan and I have talked about that. Do we need to be that way? I mean, I'm, that's just not, like, really who I am. <laughs> but at the same time, I know because I've always attended events, like we talked about earlier, for network marketing and Internet marketing and the industry-wide events. I mean, I've always made myself get to those events even if it, I couldn't afford it because I knew that if I was really going to be successful at whatever it was I was doing that I needed to be at these events and it's the same here I mean these events well, more just, than anything. Well, just look at what we what we have here you have got Amy you got Chris you got Jordan and myself have we not all met and built a relationship at events yeah so the, Rob me and you is, met at events so yeah. so the reality is this mastermind wouldn't even happen if it wouldn't have been from all of us going to events. Yeah. yeah, there's so many side benefits to events besides, you know, the Empower Network events are pure training. They're not pitch fest like some of the events that we've all been to where you get 45 minutes of content and then 15 minutes of pitching a product or whatever for with each speaker. This is different. This is pure training that you can walk away and build your business with and a ton of belief building because you'll get to see the people behind the scenes and the company and all this other stuff. But on the side, you get to eat meals with people, take videos with people, and just spend time with people. I mean, Chris, you and I met at an event. And, um, yes, we did. And then we became accountability partners. I mean, there, there's just so many things that can happen from being there live and um, meeting the other people in the community that, that aren't even part of what happens in the main room. Yeah, you know, it's, it's there's so much, but in any case, it's the beginning of the year. If you really want to have a powerful year, there's I can't think of a better place to be than right here. You know, we've been talking about what it takes to be a professional internet marketer. I can't think about a better platform than to, to do it with because, like Rob shared, like I shared earlier, I've spent tens of thousands of dollars trying to learn everything I've learned about internet marketing and most of it's outdated now and I've had to travel around and I've had to hire people as coaches and here it's all in one place it doesn't cost that much you can learn a skill set that'll allow you to make more money than most people learn when they go to college and um, you know and then you can do it right now blast off your new year right now jump in start learning this stuff invite people to these hangouts every night plug them into the community get your people to these events and watch your business just get off the ground starting right now. You know, I want to say one thing about what we're doing here this week, Amy. Now, I can't guarantee that when you get in right now and you get started with us and you get going and you start inviting people to these events that you're going to have massive success this very week. I can't guarantee that. But what I do know is that what I did last year for about four weeks, uh, uh, four and a half, five weeks with Empower Network, that's literally – up until me getting back in here, that's all I've done to build Empower Network. And me and Chris and Dave Wood were actually just laughing on a Skype hangout the other night when Chris <laughs> was down in Costa Rica. Dave's like, how much money have you made? I said, uh, just over $40,000. And that's not a guarantee to anything that you'll make. In fact, there's uh, earning disclosures all over the place you can click on and see. But what I do know is from that five weeks of just massive all-out action created me to be able to go and, and literally do nothing, nothing 
for an entire year until Rob Four punched me in the face and said, <laughs> you're a freaking idiot if you don't get back in and get this thing going. And a few months later, I decided that I was a freaking idiot, so I'm like, I'm not going to be a freaking idiot anymore. I'm just going to get in and get this thing going again. And I was still making around $3,000 a month doing absolutely nothing. So can I guarantee that that's going to happen for you when you get in? Absolutely not. But what I do know is that getting in and creating massive momentum right away is going to set you up for more success. Getting in when the whole team is going nuts like what we're doing. And you don't even know what we've got planned for right after the Austin event happens. I mean, me and Chris were chatting about something really cool that we're going to be doing like right after the event happens. So when you get to that event and, and, you, and you come out strong with what we're going to lay out right after that, oh my God, it's, you're going to set 2013 on fire. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah, kind of I'm crazy. so I'm so excited about the event even you know from for my business you know I'm in momentum but I know coming out of that event things are going to change dramatically like they always do after events and I'm so glad they're having an event the first month of the year so that we can all just like blast into the year yeah with well the other thing Jordan is is that not not only are we are we beginning this right after the event but we're actually going to be letting people in on it at the event mm -hmm. so that means you're going to be in a circle with Jordan and Amy and myself, and we're going to be briefing you on what's happening. You're going to be able to get the jump on it if you get to Austin, and you're going to get a chance to. We're going to get a chance to chill. We're going to hang out. We're going to meet. We're going to be able to talk. We're going to be able to vibe. We're going to be able to get to know you. You know, this is where it happens. That's where it's at. This is where you want to be. This is absolutely the most important thing. I don't. I don't think everybody realizes that when we say if you're all in. All in actually constitutes a ticket to the next event, always, mm -hmm. without exceptions. That's it. Period. So mm -hmm. there you go. If you're all in, you're there. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Well, that's absolutely right. You know, I've been married, I, I think, like 31 years. There's a couple of dates that I have to remember, otherwise I'll be total toast, right? So it's the birthday, it's the anniversary, Valentine's Day, and every quarterly event. <laughs> I mean, it's just the way it is. There's certain dates you have to mark on your calendar. And to me, it's like a vitamin uh, B12 shot. You know, it gives you that extra boost to energy. And every event event I've gone to has been profitable. I think it was one of the – we were in Atlanta. Me and Chris are in a park eating a hot dogs that stayed with me for like three days. <laughs> in our bare feet. And I'm going, hey, I'll tell you my best-kept secret if you tell me your best-kept secret. He goes, no, I won't tell you mine, but I'll show you mine if you show me yours. <laughs> but, you know, from that one conversation, eating hot dogs in a park, I made $40,000 this year. <sighs> Stupid conversation, eating the hot dogs in the park. And I just went home and took action. It took me like six months to take action, <laughs> but I finally did. Because I was kind of like you, Jordan. I was telling you, I'll get to it someday. There's nothing wrong with waiting six months to take I, Actually, there is something wrong with waiting six months to take action. There's something wrong with it. Do, take action right now. now. Now is always the best time. You know, you, you can look back and say, what, what could have happened if I would have taken action then? Well, you can't change that. The only thing you can do is just do it right now. You know, and, and it's perfect because we're still on what? Isn't it still the first? Yep. Yeah, I keep thinking yeah. it's the second because this day has been awesome, but it's, it's, only, it's only the yeah, first. Yeah, brand, new, so brand awesome, new year, man. brand new start duo. Yeah, right tell Rob how you woke up this morning, Jordan. Oh, Rob, I woke up to a $500 pass up from Amy. Uh, it was, um, <laughs> hey, happy new year to me. Gotta love it, gotta love it. Uh -uh. That was funny. awesome. You wake up in the morning and you can't wait to check your email, not because mm -hmm. you're waiting for, from a note from Uncle Fred, because you're waiting for a hundred dollar, five hundred thousand dollar, three thousand dollar bills. Uh -huh. That's pretty freaking exciting. <laughs> I get excited now. Like I got a five hundred dollar sale a couple days ago, and I was looking in my back office, and I'm like, "Oh, goody! The next one goes to Jordan." Like I yeah. get excited. I'm like, "Yoo hoo!" Hey, Jordan, <laughs> you get that excited yeah. about me too, buddy? How about <laughs> uh, uh, I am, buddy. I am. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing them your way. They're coming. They're on their well, way. It's kind of cool because. You know, I just passed up a, 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 a three thousand dollar one to, to Dave and Dave, who's my sponsor. But you're right; it wasn't. I, I wasn't bummed about it. It's like, woohoo! The next four are mine, baby. Yeah. You guys got to understand. You guys got to understand. I was down there with Dave for, gosh, I got there Christmas morning actually, um, and and we from the day I got there on Christmas Day, we opened presents, did all that, and then he was on the computer. And I'm telling you guys. Two hour, not not two hours went by. If every hour where he was checking 
the rankings and the standings and who made money that day in Empower Network. I cannot explain to you how much his motivation is for everybody else to make money. It's not about that him his own money and all of that. It, it's ridiculous just flying around with him and the the lifestyle he lives. Anyway, he he doesn't care about money. I can guarantee you that much. The only money he cares about is how is how much the people in the Power Network are making. It's literally in every hour he's in there and he's and he's rattling off people's names. Oh man, Vic made another two thousand dollars and here's this person and this person. It's constant. I mean that is his main focus and he sits and stares at it like this. Like Dave Sharp stares at copy. You ever seen Dave Sharp just stare at copy? Not it's yet, ridiculously <laughs> funny. We're we're down in Costa Rica last year, and and I think Dave talked about this one time, but it was so true. Like we're, I'm sitting there just chatting, and and I keep looking over, and there's Sharp just like, and I had a side view, so it was like this. He was like, just like that, and I, and I keep looking over, and I'm like. What is, he, what is he doing? You know, like what is he reading right now? And I walk over there, and it's this capture page that has three words on it, three words. And I'm like, "What are you doing, dude?" He says, "This is the most sexiest capture page you've ever seen in your fucking life. I guarantee it right now." <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, "There's three words on it. What are you talking about?" I mean, he has got a talent for it, right? And so, and and that's his obsession. Just like my obsession is is search engine rankings, like like Rob's is, and uh, Dave's is about making people money. That's what it is. He he stares at that thing, and and thinks about how can we find ways to make people more money. That was his predominant conversation the whole time I was there, for mm -hmm. the full week I was there. That's his predominant conversation. So everybody should know that. But that really yeah. is it, you know. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's a whole different spirit, you know. I've known Dave. I haven't known Dave obviously as long as you have, but you know, we we've had plenty of times where we just got to kick it, you know, dangling our feet in a koi pond, just kicking in the wee hours of the morning, laughing and telling jokes. But that's where his heart is. His heart is uh, where I think we all come from as leaders is to uplift, encourage, and edify people. You know, not give people a hand out but give people a hand up you know and and Dave is just right there both Dave's are Dave and Dave are both right there where they just you know you gotta step up and put on your big boy pants and go make it happen but at the same time they're gonna pave the way for you if they can and with an Empower Network they really have I've never seen anything like it ever it's, it's yeah. crazy insane yeah insane yeah, it's crazy insane. Crazy, man. Hey, by, by the way, everyone, these are the sweet potato chips I was talking about earlier that I got today, and I don't know if you can read that. <laughs> Food should taste good brand. Sweet potato chips are absolutely amazing, especially with like a nice whipped cream cheese with hummus spread over the top. <laughs> Thanks for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a little uh, January 1st recipe for some football games for you, and I know there's football games tomorrow, so get some whipped cream cheese, spread that out, and get some of uh, uh, it's the whole <coughs> brand hummus and spread that out over the top, and then get some of these chips. And... Nice. So good. I'm all so about good. it. Go. So, Rob, yeah. Rob, one of my highlights of the last event, too, was meeting your beautiful wife, Lisa. Is she coming this time? Yeah, she's coming to Austin. Yeah, yeah you she... said she, she, she gets it now when she came to the event. Well, you know, the events in a, in a lot, you know, you had talked about it earlier. There's a lot of events that are pitch fest, and I'm one of the guys that will pitch my wares to whoever will buy them. And so, she, so she usually gets um, she usually gets the raw end of the stick. I get to have all the fun, and she gets to swipe all the credit cards. You know, so it's usually work to her to go to an event. But we went to, you know, she went to that first uh, Power Network event, and she loves Ashley anyway. Her and Ashley are kind of buddies. Uh, David's wife, David Wood's wife, and so she just, I don't think she'd miss it unless she was bleeding and dying at the hospital. I don't think she'd miss it. <laughs> well, she was almost bleeding and dying at the last event because you guys had that uh, yeah we had the ski accident. accident. You were both yeah. like broken ribs and hobbling across the stage and stuff. That was actually one of the most fun <laughs> events I had. Um, we we both ended up at the hospital, but shoot, I was on morphine and, and alcohol. <laughs> oh, you, you you got messed up at the event. Was that like the the the, the leaders uh, jet no, ski we were or in, something? We were in Costa Rica and we had a jet ski accident. Lisa the broke masters retreat. Yeah, and I I had some kidney damage and it was fun. 
Huh. <laughs> you know, Rob, that when I met you, the first time I met you was in Las Vegas. I remember you came walking up, and I forget who else we were, we, you were talking to. You were talking to someone. I forget who it was, but but I remember meeting you, and, and, and you weren't feeling too well because you, you decided to have some of that, uh, that puffer fish. You know, the fish <laughs> that if they cut it wrong, you can actually die from yeah, it. Yeah. It's really exotic. Like, they have to cut it just right. They actually go to school for years to learn how to cut this specific fish. And Rob ate some of that fish, and he's like, my stomach hurts. <laughs> that was the first time I ever met you in person, man. Yeah, well, that's so, the crazy stuff the leaders do. We just kind of go out there and just do whatever, you know. It's like, hey, why not? Mm-hmm. But, but it's, I mean, how much fun, though? I mean, how much fun? I mean, if you look at most lives, you know, they, they have careers, they have jobs, they go to school, whatever. We kind of get in a little rut. It's, it's the same thing all the time. That's one of the things about events is you get out, you can, you can break loose for a minute, hang out, and just have fun. Mm-hmm. You know? I so look forward to them. I love the events. So I, you know, that's why it's good to get back to what we were talking about in, 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 in somewhere in the middle of this call. We were talking about uh, just being yourself, you know. And when you give yourself permission to just be yourself, uh, uh, when you give your permission uh, to just be yourself, and just like whether that's in videos or or through your writing or through your blogging or whatever, and people just get to relate to who you are as a person. Like, man, that's just I want to be able to do that too. So they just join your team, and then they then they. You know, then, then they feel they can be that way too all of a sudden. And it's awesome how that works. Uh, you know, th there's one thing too I know I talked about in the beginning about, uh, and I wasn't expecting Rob to jump on here. I was talking about doing this little exercise with you about how I went from struggling in my business to all of a sudden having this massive energy to take action, insane amounts of action on a daily basis. But the bottom line is that exercise takes about 15, 20 minutes, and uh, I'm going to do it tomorrow. So you got to be back here on the same page tomorrow. Uh, and you can be in the team by then. That would actually be better for you because then when you start taking massive action with what I teach you, you're going to start making money a whole lot faster. So I'd be back here tomorrow night, uh, same place, same time, and I'll be teaching you exactly what, what I said I was going to teach you. I'm going to take you through an exercise where you can all of a sudden just pull, like literally grab onto the future and just watch the pull, future pull you into place. It's insane how it works. That's awesome. Um, Rob, man, just spill some of your magic goodies, secret stuff, dude. Just share some of your secret sauce magic stuff with with everyone. Well, are you, you gonna, guys are, are really you gonna be shaking been... your butt again at the next event. Yeah, well, you know, you never know. The, the <laughs> thing about David and David is they never tell you until you get there. Oh. So what I kind of learned is <laughs> I come prepared in case I need to be prepared because they never tell you. So yeah, I'll have my bag of tricks if they if they call me up. You never know. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know we they do that on purpose. Well, yeah, well, they do, so you can talk from the heart <laughs> instead of a can, a can deal. That's but, no, you guys purpose. have really said it all. You know, get to the events, get in, click the button right down below, join a, join a team and get in. I mean, this is, this is the time of the year, and this is something, well, I'll share this. Chris and I talked about this before. Chris interviewed me before, but this is one of the, this is the time of year where Lisa and I, and I've been married 31 years, we sit down every year in the month of December, and we take a look at everything we got going, whether it's our job or our career or our business, whatever we got going. We put all the, the things on the table, and we take a look at it. We go, what's working that we should do more of? What's not working that we're kind of wasting our time fiddling, picking our nose? You know, it's just stupid stuff. What are we going to get rid of? And then let's lay out a plan for this next year. Because if you don't know where you're going, absolutely guaranteed any road's going to take you there. And one of the things that she told me a long time ago is, Rob, when are you going to stop walking around the same damn mountain? And we tend to walk in circles, carry the same excuses again and again and again. Cut it out. Well, one of the things that, that we do every year, and we do this every single year, it was we take somebody that we absolutely cherish in our life. That might be your spouse, it might be your child, it might be your grandma or your grandpa, some person that you absolutely 100% adore that you could not live without. Now here's the deal, it's January 1st. Now tomorrow you gotta take that person that you absolutely adore, you get a phone call, you need to take them to the doctor. And when you take that person to the doctor, uh, they basically, the doctor comes in, clears his head and says, hey, um, I got some bad news for you. This person that you absolutely adore will die if they don't get life-saving surgery. 
Now this life saving saving surgery is going to cost a hundred thousand dollars, and they have to have this surgery in the next three hundred and sixty five days. So on or before December thirty first, two thousand and thirteen, they have to have life saving surgery, otherwise they will die. Now here's here's the rub: you have to pay for that surgery. You cannot beg borrow or steal the money. The money can't come from anything that you currently have. You can't sell your house. You can't count the money you're making from your job. You have to, starting today, come up with a brand new $100,000 to save the person you love. So here's the question. What are you going to do? And when are you going to get started? And as Chris said, when is now a good time to get started? You know, we I do that every that year. That's so we powerful, that. man. I love that. <clears throat> you know, we I, do I it every year that. because we have to get that critical reason why that is so real to us that it is bigger than our excuses. It is bigger than that, that blanket of, of littleness we've carried all of our lives. We've all made mistakes in the past. So what? Forgive yourself, move on. But unless we have a critical reason why, that's much, much more important to get out of bed in the morning than having to take a piss. Why? You know what I mean? You have to have something that's going to get you up out of bed. Most of us won't have a critical illness or, or something dramatic like that. So we got to make one up in our own head. And so that's what Lisa and I do every year. And I tell you, I already have a five-plan thing for 2013. I know five exact things we're going to do to take our income from where it is to hit a million dollars a year this year. And, and it all starts from that exercise, you know, brutal. Now, Rob, Rob, real quick, man. I mean, people hear you say and taking your business to a million a year and, and some people, I would assume most people on this call know you uh, and have seen you around. And if they've searched Google for any keyword from underwear to <laughs> uh, you know, to making money online, they've probably found something that you're selling. <laughs> but uh, you know, you weren't always you weren't always successful. It wasn't like you got into your business and the first year you just magically were making tons of money and had your ten thousand dollar months instantly and all that stuff. You know, because I know I know like when I first got in and I saw someone like you making all this money, I said, well, it's easy for him. He's just he's making all this money, so it's easy for him to make money and get people in. You weren't always that way, were you? No, not not at all. In fact, uh, in fact, I was just going backwards in time. I'm I'm writing this new this new deal right now, so I was kind of looking backwards in time and seeing how did this all pan out for me. And two and a half years ago, now I had made money, but I had on the internet, but I was selling websites to real estate agents. So it really didn't have anything to do with what we're doing with Empower Network or affiliate marketing. You know, I was a geek. I was selling websites to real estate agents. And we were making a lot of money. But as far as making affiliate commissions and generating leads and all that, I had no list in August of 2010. In August of 2010, which was, what, two and a half years ago, I had no list. I had seven blog posts on my blog, and I would get 400 visitors a month, and I think half of those were me. So just two, you know what I mean? So just two and a half years ago, no list, no affiliate commissions. I looked at my first year in one program we promoted. Uh, we made a little over $7,000. One year, starting from zero, one year, 7000 now, I did about three different programs. So that one year, starting from scratch, we probably did maybe 40000 that first year. The second year, multiple six figures. The third year, multiple, multiple six figures. So once you get it going and once you find your, you know how I've always looked at it, it's kind of like a, a race. There's two types of races. We could go out there and sprint, right, or we could we could uh, do a marathon, set a pace and keep that pace forever, right? Well, that's what I did is I just set a pace and I just kept doing it, doing it, doing it, and the results became compounding where a lot of people get in, get all crazy <laughs> for 90 days. They burn out. They got a little tiny result, and it wasn't worth the pain. 
You know what I mean? It wasn't worth the pain. So when I take a look at 2013 and go, okay, I'm going to go from where I am to a million. Oh, it's going to be work. That's a stretch. It's not like I'm going to pull a million dollars out my wallet like a magic trick. Whoa. You know, there <laughs> it is. You know, it's not going to work that way. I can turn ones into hundreds, but turning hundreds into millions, that's tougher. You know, so I'm going to have to work just like everybody else. But it's all relative. If you're starting from zero, focus on getting 10 leads a day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Focus on getting 10 leads a day. With Empower Network, do the eight core steps. Focus on signing up two people a day. In the beginning, you're going to sign up maybe two people a week. Doesn't mean you're a loser. It means you just haven't got there yet. You haven't found your groove. You haven't found your pace. But I, I remember when I first started, you guys were already in the game. And I'm looking at you guys going, how the hell do these guys make all this money? How do they get all those leads? Freaking people magic, saying, man. Yeah, people were saying, man, I'm getting uh, 20 leads. I would listen to David Wood. I'm getting 20 leads a day. It's like, I got 20 leads last month. How the hell are you doing that? <laughs> I didn't understand that it was a process. But I just had faith that they weren't blowing smoke, that they had our best interest in mind. And so I might as well just do what they say in faith. And thank goodness for that, because it's dramatically changed my life. Mm -hmm. you know? I love, Rob, didn't, wasn't it you that shared a story about Lisa saying to you at one point, when did you give yourself permission to be less than? Oh, yeah. I love that, too, because I think a lot of people, you know, they just don't, they compare themselves to other people and they think that they don't have what it takes or that they'll never be, have what they want in their lives. And can you speak to that a little bit? Well, well, it's absolutely true. And I think, mo in fact, I was just reading a book today. Uh, the title's Mastery. I don't know who wrote the book. But uh, he, he was kind of sharing the same thing. He was saying, you know, most of us have made bad decisions in our life. You know, we did something and didn't work out and dang. Or maybe we had a dream or a goal or a passion when we were younger, and for whatever reason it didn't didn't come to be, it didn't come to pass. We let it go, and so we we approach our lives now a little untrusting of ourselves. Can I be as great? You know, I had these dreams, and I I failed myself, I failed my family, and now I'm the laughing stock of America. Well, get past it. You know, that's just the way it is. We're, we're, we're always going to have those oops moments, right? I mean, I, my kid, I've got two sons. One of my, my wife sent me when one of my sons was a little tiny child, sends me to the store to go get groceries. At the time, we would get two carts of groceries. And so I'd go get groceries. I'd bring all the groceries home, and i put all the groceries away. And she goes, Rob, uh, uh, where's Tony? It's like, what? Goes Tony, you took Tony to the store with you. It's like, oh crap! I left my own kid in the shopping cart. <laughs> you know, that little, you know? Sorry. <laughs> I mean, we all blow it, right? Now, luckily, he wasn't kidnapped or anything crazy, but we all blow it. So, what what we tend to do is we tend to focus on our misgivings. And one of the things I like to share with people is regret is a thief. Regret is the thief that takes away living in the now. Mm. Take a look at all the people around you. Take a look at the clothes. Are you wearing clothes? Then you're warm. Did you eat today? Then you're doing good. Are you not in jail? You're doing even better than some. So give yourself permission to go what you have and where you are and who you are is okay. Mm. And, and yeah, I mean, that's one of the most profound things Lisa ever said to me because I was getting in that habit of going, Oh, I can never be a David Wood. I could never be like Amy. Look how warm and personable she is. I can't be like Jordan. He's just a crazy guy and he makes money. I can't be like Chris. And I would just compare, compare, compare. And I always felt small. In comparison, I always felt small. Because we don't compare ourselves to the homeless guy down the street. We always compare ourselves to somebody we think is bigger than us. Well, just give yourself permission to be you. And she did. One day, Lisa actually said to me, when did you give yourself permission to feel less than? And it had me stumbling into walls for about a week. Because I really had to think about that question. When did I do that? 
<laughs> when did I allow myself to be broke? When did I give myself permission to feel less than? When did I give myself permission to make a decision and not follow through? Mm. When did I give myself permission to be a quitter, a whiner, a weasel, uh, what do they call a, uh, you know, a take-backer? Why? We, we can live up. Her, her thing today, which is even more brutal, because it's like, oh, dang, why did she have to tell me that? <clears throat> <laughs> I'm it, taking note. Uh, I don't want you yeah, to Yeah, something like uh, step up to a higher level. That's what she's been telling me now. Step. Take it to the next level. Yeah, not even take it to, but step into. So not so much what we are, it's what we do with who we are. It's not what we do, it's what we do with who we are. So with who we are, let's as humans, as people, as brothers and sisters, as spirits, let's let's step into the next level. And when we do that, of course, we need to bring people with us. Mm. Mm. Man. Wow. Yeah, because taking it to the next level, it just means we need to work harder. But stepping into the next level, that's, yikes, I don't know. I don't get that yet. That's going to that's gonna keep me uh, That's gonna keep me thinking for a few hours here. I'm not going to fall asleep for a while. I know, it's crazy. Oh, speaking of that, you guys see the movie uh, Les Mis Miserables or whatever that's called? <laughs> Les, Les, Les Miserables. Is that what it is? Les I was in musicals in high school, Rob. Not that one, but uh, that's why I know these. Are you serious, things. Jordan? Oh God, yeah, man. I was in. Uh, we did Mame. We did. Uh, I was actually in production on Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. What? Uh, I never knew this about we did da music Damn talent. Yankees. I, I was in the chorus, dude. I suck at singing, but so you were the guy that was kicking up his legs. Did you wear oh, tights? Sometimes, yeah, yeah. I actually, I was, I was Juliet in Romeo and Juliet. It was a comedy, oh, and wow. uh, I had grown a beard as much as I could back then. I, my, my facial hair would grow like out of one mole. It would just like be like four hairs, you know. So I didn't shave for like three weeks, and I had a little bit of scruff on my face as I was Juliet in this orange dress with the hat on and everything. And uh, uh, as Romeo was leaning in to kiss me, I coughed in his face. You know, it was, it was hilarious. <laughs> it was fun, but uh, you know, yeah, musicals. No, man, we we got to. To hang out with all the girls, you know, like that's the only sport where you got to hang out with with the other co-eds. It was like, oh, all these football players, they go tackle football players, guys on the field. I get to hang out with all these girls backstage. This is awesome, fun stuff. Yeah, yeah, that, I, that, I that movie looks that. awesome. Yeah, I saw that movie. I don't know. We saw it a couple of days ago. I couldn't sleep for two days. Mm. I mean, it just you know, some of those movies and some of the principles and lessons you learn, just impactful. And I don't know what the heck it was about that movie, but it just, it's just it been haunting me for two days. Mm. You know? well, you're going to have to go see it again. There's lots of it. hidden messages in so many movies. I just watched well, uh, Mirror, Mirror with my kids the other night. You know, if oh, you think that was about, really good, yeah. You know, you think about, like, that. this this is what happens when you – when you use magic or whatever, you know, at the end and she's old and it's like, you know, for me the lesson was to be authentic because that's what I'm always right. talking about and trying, you know, that's what I think that there are really all there is to do. <laughs> but in that movie it was like she was so far from authentic the whole time, you know. So anyway, I just, movies are so cool for those hidden. Well, yeah, yeah, for those lessons that, yeah, that, yeah. that we just need to hear a different way or something. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of cool what you just said about being authentic. Years ago, let me get this book. <laughs> I was in a business uh, with this guy, um, Robert G. Allen. Now, he wrote the book, uh, No Money Down, Real Estate, uh, Internet Riches, or Multiple Streams of Internet Riches. He wrote this book, The One Minute Millionaire. But I was in a business with him. And I went to one of his events, and one of the, one of the things that came out is he had a room full of people that were making, you know, a hundred thousand dollars a month, million dollars a year, and one of the common themes was quite often a lot of them felt as if they were frauds. You know, they had built this huge income, this huge lifestyle, and they somehow still felt that they were frauds because they were. So they weren't living into their authentic self. Mm. You know what I mean? Yep. And, and that's what we have the opportunity to do here is not only make a good living, provide for our families, but live, be authentic along the way so we don't have to feel guilt-ridden, oh, I made my money on the backs of other people, or, or defrauded them or bamboozled them. 
I mean, we can be honest, we can be authentic, and we can pull it off anyway. And that's way cool. That's awesome. Well, this what, what Dave and Dave have created with this community is more like that than anything else I've ever seen, where they just, they really encourage people to be themselves and wanted to create a place where people could just truly feel comfortable being themselves. And so... It's so different when you go to an event, and a lot of people aren't dressed up, you know, they're just, you don't, Dave Wood doesn't even wear shoes, you know, like you don't. Yeah, when the founder's on the stage without shoes, <laughs> my gosh, that gives you permission to be yourself right you there. You know, drinking a cup of coffee, whatever, <clears throat> wearing a mask, you know, it's just, I love that because um, they're, they're just, you know, Sophia said it when we were, we were chatting at the last event, and she said she believes that that's the biggest reason why this company is growing as fast as it is is because everybody's welcome and mm -hmm. everybody's encouraged to be themselves and you know one of my team members that was at the last event um, she she said that when she showed up at her company convention for her network marketing company someone pulled her aside and said you know what I think you might want to go buy yourself a business suit <laughs> and she's like I don't want to wear a business she had a, she had a dress on and you know she thought she looked nice but <clears throat> You know, she said, it's so nice to be here where I'm accepted for who I am. And nobody, nobody would say that to you. At an oh, I hate, at I hate shoes with a passion. I hate shoes. <laughs> well, like, you don't the reason I'm wearing wear. them right now is because it's cold out. Like, if I walked outside right now, my feet would get cold. In fact, I walk outside when I'm, like, taking the garbage out or, like, you know, barefoot. I do. In fact, or, or like, we go to spring back to summer up in Vail, and they got the concerts going on, and it's 70 degrees out on the mountain, and, and, and there's still snow on the ground. So the snow is still freezing cold. You know, it's still really cold. I went there barefoot, which was kind of stupid. Luckily, I had a few beers in me, mm -hmm. uh, so my feet didn't get that cold. But that that's why I wear shoes is because I have to keep my feet warm. Other than that, I love wearing no shoes or even flip flops if I have to. Well, I love seeing all the different personalities. You don't really see people's personalities at other events because everybody's dressed the same. And Chris Darty showed up at the event a day late or whatever at uh, the last event because he was at another corporate event for another company. And he was like, what a breath of fresh air to walk into this place. He wore a suit. At the the other event, Jessica made him wear a suit. And Chris Darty. Chris Darty wore a suit, and he's like, "I was so uncomfortable, and the whole thing was so stuffy." And he's like, "It felt so good to walk in here after being there." <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, well, it's crazy because I I go to a couple other company events too, and it, it's night and day difference. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like you're putting on airs, or you have to behave a certain way, or they bring out the velvet rope, and it's just horrible. But hey, I gotta call it a night, guys. I got I got an appointment here. I gotta go to. Awesome. So, uh, Thanks for jumping on. So you guys on. are doing this again tomorrow. You guys are doing this every day for a week, or what are you doing? Yeah, 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 man. Well, we're gonna be we're gonna be sharing some different secrets every night. You're more than welcome to come back whenever you want. And uh, well, I'm always want to know the secrets. So. Shit, man. And, and and the link. Well, you don't even see the link. I'll get you the link, Rob. You can actually put your username on there. I'll even teach you how to put your username on the end of the <laughs> PHP site. <laughs> oh, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this is a. I've been invited to a couple of hangouts. I can never figure out how to get in. I probably forget <laughs> how I got did this one. All right, guys. Awesome. Good night, Happy Rob. New Year, right. buddy. Good See you see soon. You. All right. So we got some things that we're 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 rolling out this week, aren't we? Oh, we're we're going we're going off the wall, man. I mean, we're going we're going nonstop, just like it was when uh, when it was week one all over again, Chris. I'm I'm starting like I'm starting. Well, it is we're, week we're one. It is. It is. Yep. Perfect time. So before Rob got on, we were we were going to get into some specifics that Amy you were going to talk about for a minute there. Did did we not cover that yet? Well, we covered it a little bit. Basically, we were just saying if you get in now, you know, this the sooner the better. You can jump in, you can promote this link this week and we're going to be meeting here each night and um, providing a place where you can invite your people. Again, you know, a lot of people are wondering where um, or what they can do to be in massive action and it makes it really easy when you have something going on every day that you can be inviting people to that you can be mm -hmm. excited to to invite people to it doesn't and then you don't really have to think about it you don't have to think about what you can get excited about to talk about today you can just get excited about inviting people here each night and and then let us um, go to bat for you. Yep. Then shoot, shoot a video. Shoot a video like either tonight when you're all excited right now. Shoot a video right now, and and invite people to this page in the video, 
and 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 shoot a video tomorrow, shoot a video the next day about what you learned on here, or just that that you're doing a live training with your team members tonight with your team leaders, and then come down and learn the secrets of the universe and what have you, whatever you want to say in your video, it doesn't matter. Uh, but but start shooting videos every single day, and it could take you three to five minutes, and 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 invite people over here. I saw Amy, you put a blog post up yesterday, I believe. Uh, with a video on it about what we were doing here tonight, mm -hmm. and I actually did a video that I released maybe like an hour before the the, the hangout because it took so dang long to, to 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 do its thing. To I can't even think of the word I'm looking for. Uh, uh, you know, just shoot a video, write a blog post, uh, put a note up on Facebook, invite people here and whatever, create an event on Facebook, invite people here however you can. Uh, uh, I wouldn't go so far as to say start spamming people like crazy. I mean, there's one guy that that emails me every single day with some spam stuff that I ask him to stop sending me. But you know, get in touch with the people that you do know and invite them here and say, hey, we got this really cool thing. You got to check out what's going on here. This thing's absolutely crazy. People are making a lot of money, and I think you know, quite honestly, you'd be a freaking idiot if you didn't at least get on and investigate this thing for an hour and a half. You'd be a freaking idiot. But also, idiot. you know, people can come and see what we have to offer as a team. We've got these co-ops in place that people, you know, will talk about those. We'll bring people out to share about some of the results that you're getting because I know a lot of you have gotten a lot of leads over the last week or so from the co-ops. I know at least one person has gotten a sign up from the co-op. Um, so if, if anybody has any results like that that they want to share, we'd love to bring you out to share those results as well because I think it's, it's powerful for people to see what's available here when they join your team. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and 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 we absolutely are going to be pulling. Yeah, Amy, let's make a list of the people, and Chris, let's make let's get some people out here uh, that we know are are just starting to get some results and and, and doing what we're doing. Because Amy, that's what you did in the just beginning. Just going to say that. Just you know, that's what you did in the beginning. I, I remember Amy when when you first got in last year. When you first uh, you, you said I, I just got in because it made sense. And then I just got to action. And one of the first things that we did, we had a co-op very similar to the one that we have right now, and we've got a couple different co-ops because, Amy, you've got a co-op that's awesome, and, and we've got a co-op, and there's other Facebook stuff going on and just this cool stuff going on. You got some leads. You got like 100 leads over the course of a few days with our co-op, and you just turned around and you said, hey, look at this. I just got into this thing, and I didn't do the marketing. I plugged into this team co-op that you can get access to as well when you just get in with me for 25 bucks. It's 25 bucks to start a business where you can make – I mean, I've made almost ten thousand dollars off of the twenty-five dollar commissions this past year alone. And Amy, you're probably, you know, way higher than that. And Chris, I don't know where you're where you're at with that, but it's insane what you can make off a twenty-five dollar residual commissions. It's pretty cool. And that's all you said, Amy. You said I've generated all these leads, and 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 people started signing up with you. And that blog post is still getting traffic today. I wrote it a year ago, <sighs> more than a year ago, and it's how I how I generated 100 leads in two days with the Empower Network. That blog post still gets traffic every single day, and it's a year old. I get leads from it every single day and signups. So that's, that's the power of content marketing and just putting stuff out there that, um, um, putting stuff out there that, you know, um, resonates with people. You know, there's a lot of people that want to know how to create leads, you know. So if you've just got... 20 leads from the co-op or whatever you got, make a blog post about it, make a video about it. That's what I did. I made a video. You can go to my blog and look for that post. It's probably really bad because it's so funny when I see my older videos, I'm like, oh my God, what was I doing? I'm like sitting in front of a window where you can't even see my face because it's like snowing outside. And I, like, I'm like, well, I don't know. I didn't know what I was doing, but it didn't matter. I was just in action, you know? And so that's, that's the lesson is it doesn't really matter. I still don't know. When I saw David Wood's training in the 15K per month formula about video marketing, I realized I don't know a damn thing about video marketing. Um, <laughs> yeah. but, I, but it's made me money even though, you know, I'm learning every day. <laughs> that's, but anyway. That's, that's the whole beautiful part. You get into action and you learn along the way. You know, you, you can't, mm -hmm. you can't. You can't get in. You can't learn something if you don't put it into action yourself. Because people want to say, "Well, like I could go implement David Wood's exact daily routine," and I guarantee you, after a week of implementing it, that I'm going to realize, a, it doesn't work the same as it does for Dave, and I'm going to have to change some things to make it work for me, my personality, my everything. You have to change. You're going to have to tweak things along the way to make it work for you. So, getting into action and getting moving is the best way for you to quickly figure out what works for you and how to tweak it and how to change it and where to go from there. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't get better at something unless you actually do it. Mm -hmm. You can't actually get better at something by just watching videos about how to do it. You have to actually do it. You have to fail forward is, is what I like to call it. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, I did a blog post about that. When my daughter learned how to ride her bike without training wheels, I took video footage of her falling down, falling down, falling down, falling down, and then she finally got it, and I'm like screaming in the background. That's what it's like. It's like you got to keep falling down, falling down, falling down, tweaking it a little bit, falling down, tweaking it a little bit, and eventually you sail off into the sunset without training wheels, you know, but it takes a while, you know, to get there, and the only way to get there is to be in consistent action and implementing what you're learning. Mm -hmm. And again, you don't have to implement every single thing you learn, just... Like Rob said, find something that you want to do every day and just do it every day and mess up and make mistakes and don't worry about being perfect and each day you'll get a little better at it. Beautiful. Well, hey guys, we've been going for you know two and a half hours here, so today is the first day of 2013. I do want to go around and just leave a couple quick closing thoughts from each of us and then, and then call it a night. Uh, uh, i got to go eat some of these sweet potato chips. And uh, <laughs> yeah, and get uh, get a blog post done, or maybe maybe wait till tomorrow to do that. But you know, one quick thing that everyone can do here, anyone can do this. In fact, I did it just the other day. I took a Google Hangout that David Wood put together with Lawrence Tam. They did a Google Hangout. It was like three hours, three almost four hours long. It was aw and it was awesome. I mean, it was amazing how much information was in there and how many little nuggets of information I got out of there and how many blog posts I actually created or pieces of content I created out of that. But the first thing I did was I actually took that, 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 uh, that, that, that video, and if you look at any of the videos, in fact, if you look at the video that you see right now on the page here, you're going to see a little button in the top right corner that says share. And when you click on that share button, a little thing's going to pop up, and it's going to say, how do you want to share it? Well, you hit this little button right there that says embed. And, and then you're going to get this little iframe code, and don't worry if you know how that works or not. But when you, when you go in and you embed that video on your Empower Network blog post that you can create like right now, uh, and there's videos that show you how to do that and how to put videos in and all that good stuff. I'm not going to go through the details of how to do that. I literally took that video and I embedded it on a blog post, and then guess what I did? I went out and I got traffic just like I learned inside of the 15K formula, like literally posting on Facebook and, and getting the traffic through the different strategies that we get. And I got a sign up off of it within a day of posting that blog post. I got not only did I get a sign up that was paid, I got a, I got a sign up that was unpaid. Who's going to be signing up as a paid member very soon? Well, what did I do? I literally took David Wood's video from the Google Hangout and I embedded it onto my blog. And then I wrote something down below like uh, I learned some really cool stuff in the video. And uh, click here to join now. Or click here to opt in so you can see what David Wood's vision is in this awesome video where he reveals the secrets of making a million dollars a year uh, online or what have you. I don't know what I wrote, but whatever, it doesn't matter. I wrote something down below with links that people could opt in and links that people could join the team. And guess what happened? People opted in and people joined the team. You know, and who else, who, who can't, it's copy and paste, who can't do that? I mean, you can all do that. And you can do that with this same Hangout right here, and you can do it with tomorrow night's Hangout, and you can do it with the Hangout after that. And then you can go ahead and you can create content and point back to those Hangouts. You can create another piece of content saying, oh my God, look at, I went out and I created this piece of content right over here, and guess what? I got leads from it. I, I got traffic to it, and then I got leads from it. Then people are going to go check out that Hangout again from your second piece of content. They're going to go over there and watch that long four-hour uh, video with David Wood and, and Lawrence Tam, but they're going to learn some amazing stuff in there, and they're going to feel the need to just get in and buy stuff right now. It's amazing that hypnotic stuff that works. Um, that's a, a, a rant, a ramble, whatever you want to call it, but the, the point is that this is so much easier than anyone can possibly imagine. Anyone can do what we're doing here. It's copying and pasting in the beginning and sharing other people's stories and sharing other people's successes and sharing other people's stuff until you create your own success. And your own success is your first visitor, your first lead, your first sale, your first sign up, your first upsell, all that good stuff. You literally share other people's success until you create your own success. You share other people's story until you create your own. And your own is created very quickly when you get one result. And by the way, speaking of that, we have two new capture pages. I don't know if Chris's has been fixed yet, but Jordan and Chris each created a capture page with a video of them, and then um, we tweaked it. David Wood gave us some feedback on the, the other video that we had created. With We had that whole training in there, and he told us to take that out and do a short and sweet version of my story. So there's a video of Jordan introducing 
me and there's a video of Chris introducing me and then it auto auto redirects into Dave Wood's video and it's got the join now button under you know it'll take them right to your commission loophole video page um, yeah, so, you get to share Amy's story, which is a so beautiful story. It's the same capture page for those of you that got into Jordan's co-op. You created a capture page form that says learn how this single mom, whatever, you know, you created it for the forum. You can promote that capture page right on Facebook um, because it's, it's not an EmpowerNetwork.com capture page. So you can promote it wherever you want. And if you go and check out the video that's on there now it's we, we changed it and it's short and sweet and then it auto redirects them to your um, commission loophole page so it's it's pretty sweet and that's another tool that you can use to yeah. build your business yeah and, and mine is just was hard coded because we were having redirect issues and we'll figure that out we'll figure out the tech stuff when we get to the and, and, I, and I need to shoot another video there that one was too long anyway and, I just I just went it was a one-off well I liked it because you're sitting you're sitting at David Wood's house which uh -huh, is kind of uh -huh. cool you know the cool thing about that video <laughs> the cool thing about that video Amy and your story and how powerful it is is I had a guy uh, uh, post a comment and he might even be on this call tonight he might even be listening to this he posted a comment on Facebook to me and he said you know I'm, I'm trying to figure out what business I want to get involved in I said okay well take a look at this 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 uh, you know, a good friend of mine, Amy. I mean, she is just blowing things out of the water. And check out her story; it's pretty cool. You might, you might just find that the business that she is doing here is is really cool for you as well. You might, you might find that you like it. And so he watched the video and he contacted me after he got done. He said, "Oh my God!" He's like, "You mean to tell me that I can share Amy's story and then have Dave Wood do the selling for me?" He's like, "Why didn't you tell me about this sooner? Why, why, why have you been holding out on me?" He's like, this is like magic. He's like, I just get to have Dave Wood do the selling for me, and I make all the money. I make 100% of the commissions. I said, well, yeah, I mean, that's kind of the whole theory behind the concept here. Isn't that pretty cool? And he got in. He instantly got in. It was like, I was like, that's that's how it works. When Dave Wood does the selling for you, when people see what happens, when you look at that and you understand that you have someone like Dave Wood who is magical, hypnotical, amazing at selling, literally sells millions of dollars of stuff every month, for all of these people, when you have someone like Matt doing the selling for you, it's a whole lot easier. It's insane how easy it is. It's so freaking cool. And when people see that and, and they get that, and when it makes sense to them, like I mean, it should just make sense to everyone. In fact, it should make sense to you watching right now that having Dave Wood sell versus having you, that was that was a big breakthrough for me. I said, well, why would I why would I do stuff myself when I can have Dave Wood sell? And that was a big breakthrough that I had this past weekend just chatting with Dave. He's like, dude, you're complicating shit. Stop complicating shit. Just let me do the selling. I said, man, thank you. Thank you so much. And guess what happened? I started signing people up almost every day, and even two in a day, and even three and four in one day. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, yeah, and here's the other thing. As soon as somebody else has a success story, we'll make a capture page out of you, mm -hmm. and then we'll all start promoting that. So there's, you know, some incentive for you, too, to... It doesn't have to. It doesn't have to be like this giant success story either. No, because those you know? are sometimes almost unrelatable. You know, it, it's, mm -hmm. it's some some people see things that are a little outside of their paradigm and their frame of reference and their belief systems, and they go, "There's no, that's got to be some kind, some kind of weird scam," and they discount it right mm -hmm. away without looking at it. And so these real world stories, you know, this is where we start. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we just, when when someone can can show a story that is real world and applicable to somebody's life and and it shows that you know you know that's that's creatable i mean that that type of an income for most people uh with amy's story would completely transform and change their life their life would look completely different even with just an extra two thousand a month just mm -hmm. from the first month you know yet alone the the income coming in from it 12 months later mm -hmm. it's that that could I mean that that's powerful when you just say hey how would your life be different with an extra two grand a month people go oh, oh my god yeah you know you, let me tell you let me count the ways so it's very powerful to, don't don't fall into this trap of of having to try to tell big stories about how you know Rob Ford made a million dollars or whatever it's it's you know it, it's not really relevant until you've told all those other stories first and you've got somebody in and you say, by the way, these people have done this amazing amounts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and that's why mm -hmm. we did that. And it's proven to work very well. I mean, 47% opt-ins, we got sales coming in, it's working. 
Mm -hmm. Yep. I just posted the link in the comments box if you guys want to see the video we're talking about and just put your username at the end of that link. You can you can promote that video directly or better yet, um, you know, your capture page that you created now um, sends people to that video. So it's better to get yeah. the leads. Yeah. Unless the people are already on your list, you can send them a link directly to the video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and we'll get my video fixed so that people can use that as well. We'll, we'll work yeah. on that and get the coding right yeah. on that so it can use people's, uh, you know, S1 variables, their usernames in there. Yeah. yeah. And, and those of you that are here looking at this and you're not in yet, go ahead and click the, the register now button first and get in, create your, create your account. You can actually do that for free before you even go and pay $25. You can actually create a free account when you click that and then you pay $25 after you create the free account. That's pretty cool. Do that uh, before you go click on uh, Amy's link there. Uh, uh, so you join with the person who invited you here tonight. That's it. Yep. All right, guys, I gotta run. Cool, buddy. Well, hey, everyone. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up here. Happy 2013, Chris, man. Uh, great, great seeing you, man. Happy 2013, buddy. And and yeah, we're gonna rock this out, dude. I'll chat with you tomorrow at some point. Okay. Um, uh, Amy, do you got any 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 last things you want to share with everyone before we get done here? No, I think we should wrap it up. I, I just want to say, you know, again, Happy New Year. And I hope that um, if you're looking at creating a powerful year for yourself rather than creating some silly resolutions that you're not going to keep, um, you know, follow the steps that we taught you in the beginning of this Hangout and, you know, join our team and let us help you create the success that you want. I hope to meet you in Austin. I'm really looking forward to that. That'll be a really good way to start off the year for all of us. And um, yeah, make it happen. Don't give yourself permission to be less than, like Rob said. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Well, yeah, happy 2013. I'm pumped, more pumped than I've been in, God, I don't know how long. I, I was literally flying off the walls today talking ever. to people. It's, it's, it's ever. It's exciting, man. Ever, ever, ever. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. So so uh, get in. Get in right now. Get set up so that when you start inviting people to this hangout for tomorrow night, uh, that you start making money like tomorrow. That would be pretty cool. I think that would be awesome. So mm -hmm. we will same see. Same time uh, tomorrow. You can do same time. Same time, same place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to rock out and uh, look forward to having you in the team, look forward to welcoming you in, and look forward to rocking with you. And anyone who, who who's already in the team, you can go ahead and uh, uh, upgrade as well and, and, and get into the inner circle and get into the Costa Rica and all that good stuff. Get in as deep as you can. Get your ticket to the live event. We've got some cool stuff at that live event. Coming out. Yeah. Also, if you've had some success with the co-ops, go ahead and post in the Facebook group so that if, if you're up for being called out on one of these hangouts so we can share about the power of the co-ops. Awesome. Absolutely. All right, guys. Have a good night, y'all. All right. Get some sleep, Chris. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Later. All right.